news, uh, calendar, right. security. Hey event. everyone, it's another day. Oh, there's a little Katie Mew. So uh, I'm gonna play Doom here in a second, but first. I know before. Actually, here, let me. Okay. Give me kitten. Oh. Okay. Oh. Um. No, 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 no. I know. I'm just gonna hand you off to Lawrence. That's all. Yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. We have kittens today. Hello. Hello. We're uh, keeping them company whilst, while their foster mother is getting a tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> this is the future that liberals want. Mm hmm Yes. If, if anybody didn't know, uh, at Kate Burning on Twitter, she fosters many kittens, um, makes sure that they're well-fed and everything else, and helps to give them foster homes, or find new homes, new forever homes, I should say. Um, but since she had to go get a tattoo, we currently have four kittens in the house in a little stand-up cage thing. Like a little, it looks like a little pop-up thing you'd put toddlers in, except it has a zipper top. So I'm sure you wouldn't want to do that to toddlers, but these cats are pretty cute. They They're have little, cute. little fat bellies. So tiny. So tiny. And two of them need homes. Yes. The, she said the gray one and the orange one. So I'm not sure if this is the gray one. Um, I think this one might need a home. Okay. I think this is Pepper Jack. I think there were there was a breakfast themed one and a cheese themed one because I told her that we should do a cheese theme. And the only reason why we're not keeping it is because I'm I am very allergic to cats. Yeah. But I'm on I'm riding the Benadryl. I refer to it as riding the Benny wave. Mm -hmm. I'm taking Benadryl today so that I can be around the kitties. And then making sure that I wash my hands after picking them up or helping to feed them and do stuff. My plan was... Uh, I was I'm going to play Doom. I mean, every time I die, I get to introdu I'll introduce a new kitten to sort of take the edge off a little bit. So cute! I mean, I do like the... She's gotta, like riding, like you can't really see it, but like, yeah, there's like legs, like mm -hmm. got legs Just over the little arm. Yeah. So adorable. So like, chill. Remarkably mellow for a kitten. Being in a new place. No. So cute. Mm. Yeah, we can give, we can give them treats. Um... They have like little kitty gogurts <laughs> that they can they can eat. But yes, I was kind of half asleep when Kate gave me all the instructions. So I'm gonna wait until I know that she's in Vegas, and <laughs> I will text her again and go, "Wait, what is everybody's name again?" Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have it right, but I was a little sleepy when she brought them. <laughs> Yeah, they, they don't really have a lot of uh, claw understanding yet, so yeah. they like will attach to things. Sure, they just latch on. Yeah. That makes sense. So fuzzy. So fuzzy and perfect. Okay. I'm going to take? Sure. Okay. Hold on a second. Oh, oh I know, I know, I know. I got you. Latched on there. Okay. Okay. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. Kind of stinky though, but that's okay. <laughs> Was it, whoa! Try to explore. Yeah, if you if hey. you throw them up there, they'll hey. they'll try to climb on your back. No 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 no! You gotta. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Here, you need some help. Yeah. Pepper Jack, you can't you can't do this. Oh, 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 oh. Pepper Jack, you can't do this. Pepper Jack, you can't. Yeah yeah yeah. I know you can't you can't. Here, here, here. Just I got make... you here. <laughs> I know. I'm just I'm gonna make sure you don't get on my shoulders. Has to feel back. stable like. Wow, well, that's fine. Ooh, I gotta wash my, <laughs> I gotta wash my hands now. Um, anyway, that's what we're looking at. Uh, I will, I will, I will use and abuse kittens to disseminate the anger and the raw pain of dying in Doom Eternal. But I'm not going to. I'm gonna beat it my first try. But I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. I'll be right back. Hacked. All right. Whew. Apparently they. In that short time, they I, they have made another beautiful smell. Uh, that is an Audrey too back there. Yeah, way back there. Good spot. Um, yeah, Stephanie found an Audrey too. 
at uh, I think it was like a yeah, it wasn't like a pure it was like pure one or something like that. Uh, they had one of them. Uh, let's see, I'm like the mullet slayer. I already got there. I already got it. Might as well cash in that boosted XP. I'm not doing too bad this this go around. I think actually this should get me the last thing. Wait, MC Pain is its own set? I'm confused. So that opens the set, and then the set levels up. And what's in the set, though? That's where is that? That's here, I think. I'm gonna go here and then click on this. But it's wait, I guess it might be under Pain Elemental. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. I guess this is how to see the different things. Oh, okay. There's different versions of the. Of the fedora, that's cool. Uh, D and I Kali, positive vibes for all. Indeed, indeed, positive vibes. Uh, that's why we got cute but pretty smelly kittens. Uh, Loki, thank you for the cheer. Dragon Knight, thanks for the resub. Doctor, thank you again. Rick, thanks for the resub. Wind five fifty eight, thanks for the prime sub. Full Metal Wolf 07. thank you for the the prime sub. I think that's just about caught us up. So, I'm excited to kill some things. Yeah, Mill Carton. It, you know, it's it's weird. I I had never considered that uh, I accidentally kind of lucked out. Ooh, purple and and silver, nice. <laughs> the pain tour. I never had uh, considered that I kind of lucked out with my uh, my keyboard. Cause yeah, um, having having listened to some vods and stuff, somehow the whatever clicks that my keyboard makes, and then go back through my my mic, actually sound pretty nice. Pretty nice. All the, evil that hell can the single sunglass, yeah, with the two things. All Blues are a little too clicky. Yeah, they're they're on the clickier side, but for me at least, yeah, they're they're soothing clicks. There's like a roundness and a, a springiness to them. Yeah. Kirko, good to see you. Until it is done. Uh, thank you for the reset, by the way. Is this the run? It might be. Uh, Voodoo Guy, this this is a... Uh... I'm pretty sure these are blues. I got I got this I got this mechanical keyboard before there were really different kinds of switches. This is the like this is the OG Razor Black Widow, the very first one they made. Not the ultimate, uh, because that wasn't in stock. I tried to I pre-ordered it basically as as soon as it came out. And I got one of the one of the base model keyboards and I've been using it for basically the last ten years. Nearly without issue. Uh, why me? Thank you for the prime sub. I hate the loudness of mechanical switches. Yeah, it was it was more of an issue when I did a lot more writing. I, I mean, I used to I used to be a games blogger, straight up game journo, and not only did I do a lot of writing, but I was also like editing other people's writing. So you know, just tons and tons and tons of clickety clacks. My ex girlfriend at the time was not a fan. Understandably, I think. Whoa! Whoa! Actually, uh, one of the... One of the dudes at G Fuel that I was coordinating with for the stream yesterday was like, What kind of keyboard do you use? Those sound awesome! So... I think I just lucked out. I lucked out that my keyboard is, uh... It's pretty palatable in the Twitch scene. Um, it's made me think about it. Like, if RT I could probably invest in a, in a higher quality video card to use RTX Voice for streaming, which might be necessary if, if as we're going into summer, I might need to get an AC unit in here just to make it a little more uh, comfortable. Um, so RTX Voice would be pretty useful in screening out the you know the drone of a AC unit. Um, right now, I have some fans on and the window open, so it can get kind of whooshy in here. But, uh, it would also, it would remove all of my beautiful clicks. My sweet, sweet clicks. I like that when I'm writing, it keeps me focused. Same, Nitro. It, like, there's something about the, the rhythmic machine gun of a, of a, of a loud keyboard. 
to use now? I think it's like a 1050. I wanted, I just wanted a video card in there. Um, because OBS does use a little bit of video card resources to compose a scene before encoding it. Um, but more than that, uh, I wanted NVENC so that I could record, like, local quality at 1440p. Um, for you- so YouTube uploads would be- would be really high quality. That was the, uh, that was the idea. And it's been working! Um, but, uh, I- let's see here. You need an RTX card right now, theoretically, to do, uh, RTX voice, and those are pretty expensive. So, I don't know that it's- it's gonna be worth, like, several hundred dollars. It might be, though, if, uh, if I have an AC unit in here and it's just really, really loud. I was also looking at, um, getting, getting another monitor to go to a three-monitor setup, which would help me monitor audio levels and things like that. But, uh, HDMI 2.1 monitors are about to come out, and those look pretty awesome and extremely cheap. So, I, I'm kind of gonna hold off for some 2.1 monitors to hit, and I'll probably get one of those as my new main gaming monitor. Yes, milk carton. Three monitors, exactly. On AT&T, potentially selling off the Warner Media Game Studio? Article just came out about it a bit ago. Yeah, at and is badly in debt. Uh, they need... They need, uh, they need some... Some infusions of cash, for sure. Selling off a studio would be a good way to do it. I don't know. Um, to me, that's... That's sign of rocky times. AT&T went on an acquisition spree. Including a company y'all may have heard of called Rooster Teeth. At least that was Warner Media acquiring Otter specifically. So if it's uh, if, the, if I may be reading too much into it, but AT&T's been very much in the red for several years. That was fine. Like that was actually okay back when the economy was doing really well. But uh, now that I guess we're officially in a recession and indicators are like things are going to get rough, I could see why AT&T might be wanting to pare down its. Uh, it's, uh, expensive... Expensive and non-recurring revenue-generating departments. Game development studios are very expensive to operate, and they only get huge infusions of cash whenever they release a product. So it's like, you have to spend four or five years paying hundreds of people just to get one thing that you sell for a couple months at the end of it, and hopefully recoup your money and make a lot more on top of it. Which is also why it's not that surprising. A lot of games are switching to, uh, constant revenue models, subscriptions and things like that. Micro trans actions. I forgot to get the gas. Hey, Captain. Trip to Norway today in hopes of hiking some, but there's a meter of snow in the mountains. Uh, I usually hike in, so it was put off. Hmm, sorry to hear that. Oh boy. What's up, Mark Brophy? Where? There you are. I'm here. I may need to experiment with that a little bit. It seems like if you point your chainsaw at an enemy and hit the button, it'll zoom you to them. Like, it'll teleport you to them even more effectively than Glory Kill would. Hmm. <sighs> Missed most of your stream yesterday because I didn't know you were on the G Fuel channel. Your overall thoughts from the reveal price speculation? I think I think 500 is a reasonable expectation. Um, with like discless probably being something like 450. I'm gonna be bold. And say that it's probably going to be 600, with the discless one being 550. Um, I don't think Sony has quite the appetite to lose money on hardware as much as Microsoft is probably going to be willing to. Um, that's that's just my gut read. I don't have a whole lot of like actual analysis to back that up. Um, as far as the rest of it, I thought it was a really strong showing, um, except for the fact that almost no games in that conference were launch titles. Not even launch window, like, a lot of them just didn't even have dates. Not even years, like 2021 or otherwise. So, it's possible that some of them are 2021, they just don't want to ob obligate to that yet, but... It didn't... What... It, it did a good job of showing off the, like, the breadth and the vibrancy of the PlayStation brand and platform. It didn't do a really good job of telling me what my day one experience is going to be like, which is what I thought the goal was going to be. Show off the launch lineup. Show off the launch window lineup. 
talk about backwards compatibility. Like, what what am I going to use this thing for the day I take it out of the box? And uh, there wasn't a whole lot of that. Which either means that they're going to show it later, or they don't have anything to show. Like, the launch lineup might be, might be real meager. Which is not uncommon for, uh, you know, for console launches. Uh, that's, that's not a huge surprise. I just think it's more like, uh, how, how late? How late? Are they gonna wait to, like, actually nail down what the launch lineup's gonna be? Sony is really scared it's a misstep. They're waiting for a mess to take lead. I think they are for pricing. I don't think they're necessarily that concerned about game lineups. I think Sony is comfortable with a pretty good, pretty good, uh, pretty good lead in terms of software that they've enjoyed for quite a while. It's just like opening with five was kind of weird. It's it's not when you consider the context of it, which is basically you know for a huge business partner in Rockstar Games. And, and to the rest of the, the games industry, basically saying, like, we want we want active service games to migrate over to PS5 with no issues. Um, I, think, I think that's what that says. There's still a lot of people that play GTA Online. A lot. And that may not be anyone here, but I'm sure those people will feel much more comfortable knowing that they'll be able to play GTA Online on their new console. Because of COVID. Oh. I mean, COVID has certainly jumbled up the nature of announcements. I think what we saw there was probably similar to what we would have seen at E3. Um, the difference being that they probably didn't have the raft of third parties that would probably come on to announce their their launch games, like Call of Duty, something from like usually it's a it's a bit of a it's a bit of a, a smorgasbord, you know? You get it you get some kind of appearance from every major publisher. EA shows something, Ubisoft shows something. Uh, sorry, this guy's freaking me out right now. Ah! <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, they get so much life back. Please die. Okay. Yeah, couldn't wheel out a celeb. I mean, they got that guy to introduce the NBA 2K trailer. I'm, I don't follow basketball, so I'm sorry. I, I'm not. I don't remember the gentleman's name, but um, I'm, I'm sure that that was the like. That was that one. Yeah, no flute man this year, unfortunately. No, no weird discussion about whether or not it was appropriation. Good lord. I don't know. It's gonna be 800. I mean, uh, I could see, I could see a reality where it's like, this is upper bound. By the way, I don't think, I think this is starting to get a, a bit unrealistic. But 600 dollars for a PS5, and then if you want to buy expanded storage at launch, there's probably only gonna be one or two NVMe drives that actually hit the spec PS5 needs, and they're gonna charge a premium for it. There might even be like a PlayStation branded one that's made by SanDisk or something like that. That's probably going to be another $250, $300 for, like, another terabyte of space. Because the PS5 does not have a lot of internal storage. Um, and I thought it was interesting that they, like, when they announced their disc and discless model, I thought they were going to have, like, a base model and, like, a gamer model. Something that had more in storage, but... I think physical will be 550 digital one will be 450 Book it. A disc drive doesn't cost that much. It's not $100. I think 50 probably. Um, I would think it's Samsung. Oh, I was just throwing something out. All right, somebody, somebody g gave me a hot tip. They said you could just wait. What? How are you supposed to do that? Maybe here? You can just hit. They said you could just turn around from here and jump onto the. Oh, maybe it's from here. Maybe it's from here. Yeah, that that makes more sense. Okay. Bill Costa estimated at 460 for PS5 and 480 for Xbox. Those are, I mean, a. A build cost right now is going to be silly. Like, it, that's going to be mostly conjecture. Also, build costs never factor in R&D. 
or the fact that because of COVID, man, like, no, this is the thing, because of COVID, manufacturing is more expensive. Um, they do get a boost because both the one and, or the one, or the Series X, excuse me, and the PS5 are using the same GPU architecture. So AMD, AMD gets to, to shave off some, uh, some cost of manufacturing because they're doing it in bulk, but yeah, COVID, COVID's going to slow everything down and make it more expensive. And like, I think the big thing is the PS5 is a kind of a fundamentally redesigned computer. Um, the way that it, hand, it handles its I.O. is is different and making an entirely new kind of electronic. There's a, there's a ton of just bolt-on costs of making something that's like pretty fundamentally different than most production lines. Not only in R&D, but just to like spin up the production of a new thing. And during COVID, so... Yeah, I don't know. Um, Oh, uh, but shit. No, I need you to grapple. Grapple! Please, mantle. Uh, okay. Whoa! Thank you, Ryzen. Thank you for our daily, daily dose of cane. God bless you. Yeah, I mean, every game that they showed looked cool. Um, there was nothing that was just... I mean, for me, like, Godfall was kind of the weak point because I'm pretty sure it is, like, a free-to-play game. Um, so, yeah, it was the, it was the only one that was just kind of like, okay, this is a sort of... Sort of sausage factory game is kind of what it looked like. Doesn't that doesn't make it bad, but they had a lot of surprises in store. I think they are they are kind of going uh, spiritually with the the idea that their platform is is a robust home for lots of different kinds of expression, and I think they they hit that that marketing beat pretty well. Is Godfall the one that looked like Anthem? Um, no, that might have been uh, not the one with the girl and the dude in space, whatever that one's called. The one that's like not even, like is so, like I think 2022 was the estimate on it. Now Godfall was the Gearbox published one that had the, the weird song, hip hop song with horn blasts all over it. And all, it was just an armor man hitting things with swords. I say just, like the, the art style looked cool, but. Okay. Curious what the range of that is. No, so Project Project Athi was something else. <laughs> that was that was from Square. That was the one of like a magic lady uh, teleporting and running around and stuff. Are you being called Village is so dumb? I love it. Yeah. God bless Resident Evil. God bless it. I love it, and I'll never not love it. But yeah, again, for me, the, the, the weird blank spot in my head is like, wait a minute. There's only like three games that are realistically in launch window. And one of them is like, seems like it's a free to play. Uh, another one, another one, there's like a lot of confusion about exactly what the scope of that game is. The Miles Morales Spider-Man game. Um, Fuck. Oh, frick. Pragmata, yeah, that that was the the one that everyone said looked like Anthem. I guess because the spacesuit had kind of a pointed pointed face on it. I didn't really see it myself, but. Maker 
is nearby. She is inside. Yeah, there's gonna be plenty of re-releases and remasters for sure. Those are less exciting. How do you feel about Chris potentially being the villain? I mean, he was kind of the villain in another game, too. Chris has not necessarily been uh, on the most... Like, in 6, Chris was kind of on the downward slide. Like, he was an alcoholic. Bitter. I don't know that, like, Chris's... Chris's... Chris's heel turn is not necessarily a new thing. Remember when Chris punched that boulder? I don't think about anything else. But yeah, he was still he's still a big boy. God bless. God bless Capcom for making our boys thick. It's like the only Japanese developer that makes absolutely huge dudes. They tend to be a little more lithe. Although I do I do like thinking about like that's what Capcom thinks Americans are like. Just just brick shit houses. He killed Mia so Ethan could fuck his sister, Claire. Chris has been trying to get somebody to plow Claire for years. That poor guy cannot catch a break. The con maker is Won't anyone bang Chris's sister, please? Gladiolus and... Oh yeah, that's true. Gladio was was a, a pretty thick a thick lad. That's true. Can't... Can't, can't sneeze at Gladio. Adam Driver should play Chris. I mean, he's got the body shape for it. I've completed the redesign of your equipment launcher. The flame belch is now ready for your approval. Why would I not approve it? Yeah, we could use some thick ladies. We got sporty ladies. Let's have some. We need some buses of women, please. Dial from Street Fighter is the kind of American you want to be. Specifically played by uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, the most American man. Yeah, Demon Souls was really exciting. If for no other reason than, like, it's just called Demon Souls. And if Sony's willing to, like... the And also the 4K screenshots looked incredible. Um, which, which to me was kind of the bummer, too. I think a lot of the wow factor was lost because it was streamed on YouTube at 1080p 30. So that's kind of dumb, but... Sony gonna do Sony. Um, yeah, the Demon Souls remake is cool because not only is it a Demon Souls remake, but it if if I read the subtext, given how popular reboots are, it's it's feasible to think that Sony, without without the inclusion of From Software, could then parlay Demon Souls off into its own series. Um, I think like there was a time when people would have would have hated that if From wasn't steering the ship, but I think. There's been enough. There's been enough Soulsborne games from From Software. Ow, that uh, I think people might be ready to accept it now, especially if it just means more Demon Souls. I'm not gonna be looking forward to the whole like, if they do make a Demon Souls two. I'm not looking forward to the whole like, this is bad because FromSoft didn't make it thing, but that's inevitably going to happen. Also, got a. I'm happy for the furries. Uh, they really had their day yesterday. They had a day. So good for them. Good for them. How do you think next gen consoles will compare to current PCs? I I think so. Usually, usually the way it works is um, new consoles outpace PC for like maybe a year, and then PC catches up. These consoles look like they're kind of a little bit ahead, a little more ahead than usual with respect to where consoles and PCs are. Um, mm, no, nah, never mind, I take it back. Maybe where most, most average PCs are, but I, th I think like there's, for a while now, PC hardware has been way better than the games that run on it because there aren't many games that really use all the bells and whistles that modern hardware can support yet. Um, so, you know, once we have consoles that support things like ray tracing and 3D audio and all that stuff, 
then those features will start to be a little more pragmatic to put in games that come out on PC as well. Or just leave in for PC ports instead of having to develop it from scratch for only a fraction of your audience. So I think I think it's gonna be largely uh I think it's gonna be largely parody for the people that have high-end PCs. Um I guess I should I get back with this? No, I'm gonna take this. This only helps for like one or two fights until you get dash, but still. Especially when people use hardcore PCs just to play 2D platformers, yeah. I only play Salt and Sanctuary on my 2080 Ti. You think they're gonna improve their PSVR? I think they've kind of lost the taste of pushing it. They pushed they pushed a VR for years. The adoption rate was not great. Um, the games were okay, but they you know that just doesn't move systems. The market keeps saying that they don't really care about VR in its current form, and I think uh, I think Sony, I think Sony finally got over that. Like, I think. I think all factors say that, like, they should have, every time they were pushing VR, they really should have been going for, uh, PlayStation Now. I think, I think Microsoft kind of made that, made that a little obvious, based on their revenue. VR's last hope is porn. That's that's like every every nascent technology, right? If there's not good porn on it. That's just how you can It's a litmus test, I guess. Plan on playing some Disco Elysium. Um I am not. Uh but that's because I I'm actually I actually had I was pretty sick this morning. I woke up with terrible stomach cramps, vomed a little bit. Uh, stomach's still kind of messed up right now. I had some beers yesterday. Um, and also, I ate, like, a sushi roll that had been sitting out. Oh, fuck. Alright, hold on. I ate a sushi roll that had been sitting out for way too long, I think. So, I think I had mild, mild, uh, mild, uh, food poisoning this morning. Um, I'm mostly over it at this point, but, uh, I didn't really feel like flexing my diaphragm really hard to try and do crazy voices for hours. This is much more, uh, this is much more low-key. Yeah, I was afraid that if I, like, tried to strain myself doing voices or, or like, push, pushing my throat at all, that it would get bad. So. Yeah, I need to, I need to do it. Also, I mean, like, I'll be honest, I'm kind of, I'm a little low-key, uh, I'm a little low-key nervous about doing that stuff. Whoa! I'm not a, I'm not a talented voice actor, and I know getting out there is how you, how you develop those skills, but mostly what I'm afraid of doing is, like, I'm afraid of trying to do an accent and offending somebody. I'll be honest, like, that's... That's 100% my concern. <laughs> uh... So... I have I have some anxieties I gotta work through, but that's, uh... That's part of it, right? You gotta, you gotta just get yourself out there and... Say F the haters. F them in the B. Even if they are trying to protect their culture from an ignorant asshole... Who's screaming at a video game. In the B, I say. Yeah. <sighs> How many bits for you to throw up on stream? Or is that against TOS? I'm pretty sure that's against TOS. Do your best Swedish accent. As the captain of all Sweden, I give you a free pass. Well, it's just gonna sound like the Swedish chef, which is not even that Swedish. That's the thing. Like, I don't... I actually don't want to do... Any accent I do now is just gonna be, like, nowhere close. It'd be like, hello, hey, I'm Swedish. I mean, it's kind of like the, the funhouse Swedish, right? Any, uh, any stupid American just makes their voice really sing-songy, blends all the verbs together. It's kind of... But that's like, that's not even actual Swedish. That's just like cartoon Swedish. Yeah, we need Bruce. The one man who was equal parts every, uh... Equal parts every, uh, every possible ethnicity. The Lawrence impression of Lawrence. Hey guys, I talk way too much about video games. Allow me to ramble about my own insecurities for 20 minutes. There you go. Oh, yeah, the Kill Bill... Hanzo Hattori. I mean, 
I always assumed that was that way because it was... It was pa parodying maybe a little too strong. But it was hearkening back to when Asian characters were that trope. Um... So I, I always thought the Hanzo Hattori was thing was self-aware. Get the kittens to do impressions. Ooh. Now we're talking about good stream content. Oh, James is gonna stop doing the accent? Yeah. That's interesting. That whole like You only have a problem with it because it offends you, like that. That defense didn't hold together too well in the long run, I don't think, but... But, yeah, good call. Okay. There's there's some shit in this room. I think there's a... There's a Hell Knight. Oof, those echoes of all the splatters. Me doing an impersonation of me is like feeding an English word into Google and translating it to and from English again. I still- I- I insist that mine was- mine was good and accurate. What? Oh wait, I have dash now, that's right. I keep forgetting they can- they can cross the- yeah, shit. They can cross a gap! Didn't mean to run into that. Where are you? Very quickly. Fuck! Okay. I punched him in half. That was sick. Oh, there's another one. Fuck. Oh, wait. Maybe he didn't die? Yeah, Nitro, it's 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 interesting. It's interesting. The the It's it's comedically it's it's a tough line to walk. Um Is it self-aware satire? And how self-aware is it? Does it need to be more self-aware so that people don't assume that you are just what you're trying to sat satirize? I don't know. I did I have in I have by no stretch completed my uh, Star Wars prequel playthrough, no. I'm, uh... I got stuck on, um... Jedi Power Battles, but I have that I have that running on Dreamcast now, so I think I'm just gonna start over on Dreamcast. This is not colorblind mode, Ivo. This is, uh, this is merely a different color palette. That is all. Ooh! 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 Alright. Why did I... man, why did I take so much damage there? Gosh, I just got like swatted a million times while I was running through that hallway. I guess there were just a ton of melee dudes down there. That was stupid. What a dumb way to die. Okay. <laughs> Took your advice. I don't have a Dreamcast, but yeah, I guess I did in the long run. Okay, I'm gonna go get a kid and I'll be right back. Okay. This is Cheddar. Who is... Just super, super chill. Why are all these cats so chill, man? Why are you so chill, Cheddar? Mm -hmm. It's kind of tough to, like, hold the kitty up. Oh, you got some eye goo, huh? No, oh, you're so cute, though. You want to say hello to everybody on the internet? So tiny. Chetty keeps looking down. Well, maybe not. Cheddar also needs a home. Uh, so if you're looking to adopt, we can certainly arrange that. Oh. Trying to hold him up. Mm. You're just sniffing around. Just sniffing. Being cute. How's it feel being cute, Cheddar? Does it does it bother you that I just died in Doom Eternal? Does that bother you, Cheddar? No. Nope. 
Where are you going? What do you want to do? Uh, trying to keep him in frame. Whoa. 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 Starting to explore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Boop it. Is he purring? No. Can can kittens purr? That's kind of a dumb. It's a dumb question. I haven't been around a kitten in a while. Where you? Oh, Cheddar's getting adventurous. Really, really wants. Weird, weird, weird. <laughs> okay. For some reason I thought maybe they had to be a certain age before they could purr, but no, no purring yet. Yeah, okay. I think Cheddar's getting a little antsy. Very enterprising kitty. Whoa, come on. Alright. Might have to put Cheddar back home for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I think Cheddar's, Cheddar's done. Yeah, Cheddar's too cool for the stream. Cheddar wants to get out of here. I do like that Cheddar will just occasionally completely deflate in my hands. Pretty eyes, too. So tiny and cute. So beautiful. Okay, all right. All right, all right, all right. All right. You can go back home and eat some snacks. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Much right, back at it, back at it. Thank you guys for the warning. Although, I'm pretty sure nothing compromising got said. Just, uh... Against all the evil... Steph talking about a sword she wants, which also means Steph is the coolest. The Kitten and Cam win the next time I die. So, it was all mumbles. We will send you were too far? Alright. That's what I figured. And really, like, there... Unfortunately, there was nothing salacious in there. Uh, no cyber scoops. Although I, I will admit, like, typically I'm much more paranoid about that, given the nature of uh, of what's going on. Yeah, no, for sure. So why do you have cheddar? Uh, we have a friend that fosters fosters kittens, and uh, that actually did a little squeaky sound that time. Um. We have a friend that fosters kittens, but she is getting a new she's getting a new tattoo. And so she has to be at the the, the tattoo parlor for like hours. Also, the tattooist is in Vegas. So uh, she basically had to be gone for a day, so we're we are being surrogate surrogate parents in the meantime. Hey, Mr. Diminutive, thank you for gifting a sub. Dead. 69 health, nice. I don't want to die in this room, ever. They're not gonna make me. They're not gonna get me. Not like this. Okay, that was close. <sighs> Drinking game every time I die or complete a fight. Take a shot of water to stay hydrated and healthy. Now that's a drinking game. I can get behind. I haven't heard Run the Jewels 4 until recently. What's the fuss about? I don't know if there's any fuss. Just a good album. Run the Jewels has been building quite a bit of momentum. Their albums have all been good as hell. I started listening at Run the Jewels 2, but that's because uh, one of the dudes at Rooster Teeth introduced me to them. 
Let's take a shot of gusher juice. <laughs> That'll keep you happy and healthy. Coffee is dirty bean juice. It's clean bean juice. Them beans have been strained out. It's roasted bean juice. How's the new album? It's very good. It's very good, but like the flow of it is a little funky. It's uh, it's, oh shit. It's, oh shit. That really fucked it up. That really, really fucked it up. All right, all right. Um, it's, it really is more like a collection of songs than an album, but the songs are very good. Um, wow. Explosive barrel got me too. Shit, man. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, guys. Meat sausage. Sausage has already been placed. So sausage is not up for adoption. So I was just making it a bit of a struggle to get in frame. Hold on a second. There we go. Okay, I was right. What's that? The one with the little gray back, mm -hmm. the mostly white with the gray back, is indeed Pepper Jack. Okay. Um, and Cheddar is the orange one, and then this is Sausage, and the other one is Waffle. Okay. And I believe sausage and waffle have homes. Um, they're 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 getting they're aging out of kitten status um, because they they've gained enough weight mm -hmm. over the past few weeks that they can then get get clipped um, and mm. go to their forever. Sausage is purring. Very nice. They were asking if cheddar was purring. Cheddar did not purr, but sausage is. Maybe maybe cheddar was camera shy. Maybe. Sausage is ready for the big time. Mm hmm Gonna get gonna get its own Twitter channel. Start streaming. He's already got it. <laughs> this is now a sausage channel. <laughs> yeah, these kittens just like sp spread out. Most cats don't like or I guess adult cats. All the ones I've ever interacted with always want their paws to be on something. These cats are okay just just flirping it out. Um, yes, and Kate has the, the Jean Pod Van Dam Twitter account, because Jean Pod is her main cat. Uh, there's a lot of photos of the kittens that she takes with them, mm -hmm. um, as well as photos of Jean Pod wearing. Um, I, yeah, his uh, his picture has changed. He's wearing a captain's hat, so that's. Oh, so J E A N Jean Pod P A W D, mm -hmm. and then Van Dam spelled as you'd expect. Is yes. that it? Okay. Yeah, and then that's busy. I mean, you're yeah. showing me, like. Well, I was like, you could, I'm like, you could show people. I don't know if they, they can I'm see I'm holding this. a kitten. My hands see? are occupied. That's busy. And then you can see Jean Pod has a. That's you. Has, has a captain's hat. It came in a tiny hat box. Um, and especially because Kate really likes Yacht Rock. Mm -hmm. Like, it felt very necessary. For the cat to have its own, its own captain's hat. All right. Now, sa sausage was was given some little meows earlier. You gonna give us another little mew mew? Nah, it's fine. You don't have to speak if you don't want to. So cute though. Look at how cute. I have to get my face in there for the branding. Brands, this is some powerful influencing right now. No, it's just a cute kitten. So cute. I gotta. This is gonna help me work on my my horse stance. This is the real Shenmue. The squatting, so you can get a cute kitten directly in frame. Ah, oh, okay. Gotta keep you guys wanting more. Also, I'm probably gonna die some more, so we'll be right back. Oh, sellmyseman.com is also expired. Oh, I, yeah, I may have let that one go. Now that I think about it. Uh, I, I would need to look it up. I just turned off the renewal on him. Like, so evil. I registered those for the meme of it. Um, and like, GoDaddy oh, will just like lump. They, they like increase the price of renewal every year. I I don't know. I use GoDaddy because I don't care and it's fast. Uh, Chris Jamal, thanks for the cheer. And Hermes, I think I asked before. You may have even told me before. I don't know that I uh, paid attention or or saw it. Is it Hermes or Hermes? Like, is it the is it the Greek god, or is it Roman god? 
or is it the uh, the the fashion label? I played this game in HDR. I've been playing it on my HDR display. It might be the best implementation for it I've ever seen. No, I don't have an HDR monitor, um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get one once the 2.1 monitors. HDMI 2.1 monitors come out, I'll probably get something that supports HDR. My concern is like, what's the, uh, what's the process with streaming? If your gaming PC or your console is outputting an HDR, HDR signal, can capture hardware just grab it and broadcast it without HDR? I actually, I haven't looked into it very much. Do you have a high refresh rate monitor? I mean, it's, it's 144, but I use it at 120. Um, so, it's over 60. What's the difference between 2.1 and DisplayPort? I think it's mostly data bandwidth. I don't know the specific numbers, though. HDR on some games don't work well at all. Doom's HDR is really nice, though. Hmm. Why? What makes HDR not work? Is it just like the, the colors aren't very robust or vibrant kind of thing? Why wasn't he shooting me? That's weird. No monitor does true HDR. Huh. This frame rate like shutter speed. I need a good comparison. No. I mean, shutter speed is for... Shutter speed is, is for taking a single photo. Um, frame rate? So I, I guess the way to the way to think about it is um, film and video games. It's a series of still images played in like flipbook fashion to create the illusion of motion. Um, film is usually at a pretty locked frame rate or has been for a very long time. Um, so there's not really a good comparison aside from like the difference between the Hobbit at 24 frames per second and the Hobbit at 48. Um, more frames means smoother video uh, because there's more pictures. So instead of like there being 30 pictures a second, there can be 60 or 120. A uh, film is 24 frames per second. It's very low, which is, uh, but you can't, you don't visually tell because film is typically shot or was, has always been shot on physical film, which means that it has motion blur. A single exposure can catch a movement of light. Um, and if you freeze frame a film, especially one that's in motion, you'll see how blurry it is when you stop it, but when it's played in sequence, the blur creates the illusion of more motion being there than there actually is. A lot of video games tried to recreate this, which is kind of weird considering... Like, video games have this weird habit of trying to look like film, because that's just how people think things should look. Whether they're adding in lens flares or using motion blur or stuff like that. HDR bugs me uh, when darks get crushed to Vanta Black and take the surrounding pixels down to shadow. Or the white balance, hold on a second, or the white balance is wonky and makes highlights turn to nuclear bloom, but don't smooth out the gradient around them. Ah, I see. So it's just that, like, really harsh cutoff. There's no, like, I, I've seen that before. Also, hey, Bella. 26 months, we should celebrate with the Amontillado I have in the basement. Come down, fellas. Well, I'd love to. This is great. Wow. And you know what? I'm gonna be the first person to volunteer. If there's, if there's let's say a cask of Amontillado that may be in a more remote part of the part of the basement. Maybe in like a little, a little alleyway or something. Small doorway. I'll just go right in there. I'll tromp right on in there and I could use a drink, you know? Whoa! Anyway, good to see you. We got kittens on the stream. Just got your G Fuel? Hey, nice mecha arc. Get ready to game harder than you've ever gamed. Get ready to big game. Oh sure, you think you've big gamed before. But have you really? Has anyone really? For the heroes in the game force. Yeah, it's a skin for the shotgun. I actually need to change it too. I'm not super fond of this skin. I think after I beat this level, I'm gonna swap it. Didn't that whole shebang start because a dude talked shit at a party like weeks back? Yeah. That's what makes it cool, it's just how petty it is, that story. I'm pretty sure, I actually, I don't remember specifically, but I do recall it was something like that. 
to me, like, that's my favorite kind of, of, of debasing horror is when, like, it's evidence of just how pe petty, short-sighted and cruel normal people can be. Uh, Corzilla, thanks for the prime sub. Also, Mac Daddy 629 Thank you for the sub. Oh, I don't know that Ajax, I don't know that... So that was a good headline. I don't know that that's true. The Space Force thing that the U.S. government might lose the copyright. Um, I like, I follow a... A shit? I follow a, uh... I follow a lawyer on Twitter and he was basically like, That's not how this works! But I don't feel like explaining copyright law right now. So, that's the only evidence I have to go off of. Ugh, I was not expecting to be facing that way. Which is not, not the most... Uh, I understand it's not the most uh, authoritative, but why do I keep looking in weird directions? It's really, really disorienting. All right, that, that was that was scary for a second there. I'm getting tagged in the back by that by that dude up there. Don't need that in my life. They never did say exactly what he did, but yeah, the main character has a grudge against Fortunato. Okay, they don't say. Then it's fun to imagine. Since you talk some shit. I heard you talking shit. Here's the thing. I'm gonna give away some some galaxy thoughts right now. Trump may have started the Space Force, which I guess is doing something. Um, who knows? All that all that's happened with that is the name, I guess, and the Netflix show. But uh, if he wants to really win, if he wants to cinch that re-election, he's got to launch the Game Force, where we gotta we gotta put together a U.S. Game Squad. To take down all the other all the other game gamers in the world. Although with the way Trump goes, he would have like a conser like a deeply conservative group of just like 14-year-old edge bros that play Call of Duty. And instead of fighting other countries, they would just get into matches against like games journalists and try to kill them over and over again. Damn it. I I was into the idea of a game for us, and now I don't like it. Yeah. <laughs> U.S. Yeah, the the America's chief video game general, video game colonel, is the quartering. All he does is sigh and roll his eyes all day. They play FPS games and only go sniper all the time and never play the objective. They lose like 100 to 1, and then they complain that, uh... They complain their team wasn't helping. <laughs> when it's like... Other Americans are their team. Uh-huh. It's all, it's all fitting together right now. Boy, is it really clicking. I guess there's a weekly... A weekly uh, challenge to snipe people in the air. I can do that. The Master Chief of Game Force. Oh my god! Oh my god, you've done it. You've named it. You're a master of branding. I swear to god. Okay. When is this stupid... When is Arachnatron gonna show up? And they'll like, they'll take all these subsidies and spend like three million dollars dollars of tax money on new gaming PCs that they just kind of that then they, that they would then sell on eBay. I'm trying to think of like the most <laughs> the most Trump the most Trump style gaming cabinet. Yeah, you have to you have to beat Dark Souls without getting hit to join. 
And if you if if you're anything other than a white dude, they'll find a reason why it wasn't actually acceptable that you did it. Like you, they'll they're like, oh, you're using uh, pro controller, disqualified. Not a good cultural fit for the game force, they would say. Here, okay. Have to be Dark Souls using a dance pad instead of hoorah, they just hey yo hey yo hey yo. John Madden. Oop. Solid hit. Whoa. Fuck. Whoa. Jump. There. Okay. <laughs> Here's my favorite stand-up bit doing a bit on how dystopian it would be if government handled coffee instead of Starbucks. It's applicable to this. I like this. I'll check that out later. Beat Doom Eternal with a Beat Mania controller? That'd be so much scrolling. Dude, so I saw Sparkover playing 2DX earlier today, and man, did it give me the, the, the itch. Gave me the hunger. I cannot wait uh, to play more Beat Mania. Oh, I, yeah, I, I guess I chilled out enough, and I was finally able to buy some more magical Konami points with my credit card, so I was able to buy a new song pack. I might push my luck and just try to buy two, because I d didn't have one last week, but... If you're a white woman, they might let you join, but they'll say so many disgusting things to you in the first week you'll quit anyways. Yeah. And then tell themselves it's it's your problem because you don't have a thick enough skin to be in the game force. We don't know what it is, man. We try. We just hire the most qualified candidates. No one applied. <laughs> we didn't have any people of color apply. What are we supposed to do? Anyway, I'm going to play Dark Souls again. I guess the US Game for the game US Game Force would probably stream on Twitch a lot, yeah. I don't think that's how they'd recruit. It's not Gamer Force, it's Game Force. Please. Cuz the game the Game Force I think is an elevation, a graduation of of gamer culture. That means we, that means gamers could have a lobby finally, aside from the ESRB. Sick. We could get like corrupt, corrupt uh, uh military contracts. Oh, they stream on Facebook Live. He, oh my God. Yeah, you're right, Scott. You are God. You nailed it. You absolutely nailed it. And like. The comments would be really, really bad, and they just wouldn't acknowledge it. Like, they just wouldn't moderate it at all. Or the mods would, like, very selectively ban people. Alright, I gotta... I gotta... I gotta... I gotta stop theory crafting about the game for us for a second. So this room can be a little mean. Rick. <laughs> Basically NASCAR. <laughs> Aw. Maybe. I you know what? You know what I think I just realized? I think I might overuse uh I think I might overuse glory kills because they uh they let me look at chat for a second. That might be part of it. Well. Oh, hey, King Egg! How you doing? Oh. Whoa! God, it freaks me out when they shoot him in the air like that. I did that on purpose to get some health. I promise. It was on purpose. Alright. That is not. I should have just shot him. I guess, I guess the other thing is, is I'm way less confident in knowing how much damage it takes to kill a demon who's in, who's in glory kill stun. Um, because I know that if you don't do enough damage and they come out of that, they get they get a crazy amount of health back. It feels like maybe three quarters of their health. It's it's a lot, or maybe it's a percentage. And just for the beefier demons, it feels like a lot. Oh, you bought Disco Elysium? Nice. Yeah, that game rules. Uh, if I were if I were feeling a little more chipper today, I would be playing that and embarrassing myself trying to 
voice act over it, but instead I'm doing this because I got a, a bit of a stomach issue today. I, uh, I, I broke my hurl streak. I, I barfed this morning. Forget about the future. But it was, it was a barf where it was like, it felt, it felt good. Because I felt like I did it on my terms. I, uh, I felt that, like, my stomach started cramping up, and I was like, okay, alright, fine. Alright, I know, I know what this is, and I'm not gonna fight it. And then I went to the, I went to the bathroom, and I, like, flexed my abdomen, and the process happened a couple times. And then, just kind of, like, was like, bleh, brushed my teeth. And I was like, okay, you know what? Let's start the day. I feel like, I feel like I've, I mastered my body. In as much as it completely revolted on me. No such thing as a good barf. I guess I agree with that. I mean, I, I certainly would have preferred not to. But I think all things considered... The, I think all things considered it went pretty smoothly. Yeah, it's like I did it my way, but for barfing. Instead of, I guess, being in show business or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. It's nice we can see the cat. I'm still on the first level, man. It's the first stage, man. You want me to die? I mean, I've done it, so maybe you just gotta maybe you just gotta wait. I think I can. Ah! God, when the like imp picks it out of the air like that, crazy. forgetting about uh, meleeing to eliminate the mod switch cooldown. Man, there's a this this game has a lot of buttons you gotta hit. It's crazy. <laughs> King exactly. <laughs> Advanced tactical barfing. Yeah, it's a gamer barf. It's when you know the rules, you know the system. It's like it's like playing Doom Eternal on Ultra Nightmare. You know that the, that there's going to be bumps in in the ride. You know it's going to push back a little bit. You just got to push through, push through. It's not like you can get through Doom Eternal without killing the demons. You got to kill the demons, but you got to do it well and fast. That's where I, that's where I was at. Okay, let me. Save and exit, because I think my food might be here. But also, oh, hold on. Yeah, we'll go with that one. I guess there's. <laughs> there's all those little hands. All those little, like, little mouth mandibles. <laughs> it, even, it even has the little record scratches. Oh, that is a sick-looking caco. Or a pain elemental. I love it. Uh... Oh, right. The shotgun. Shotgun skin. Uh... Wait. There we go. Yeah, eh. Look with that. These are the skins I have set right now. Some of these I haven't even gotten to. I got to the super shotgun a couple times. And beyond that, Sensor Camo just looks silly. It just look, I don't know why, like, it just doesn't seem like it fits in Doom. Camo? Come on. This ain't some tactical Call of Duty man. Alright. Uh. Hey, Steph? Did the. the food get here? Oh, never mind. No, it's okay. Ah. It's, uh, it'll be here in ten minutes. Never mind. Alright. Might as well get into the second stage, then. <sighs> Alright. Is this modded? Only slightly. I have a, I have a reshade on the game that's, that makes it a little more crisp. Gives it a little more contrast and pop. Just kind of generally makes it look a little less washed out. Uh. And Corzilla, thank you for the Prime sub. What's all this talk about PS5 doing things PC can't seem hyperbolic? Not necessarily. Um, it is it is technically true. Uh, the PS5 
has hardware capabilities that your average gaming, gaming PC do not have um, right now. Is activated and ready when you are. Uh, they basically re rewrote, re re-engineered the the I/O pipeline, so the way that um, the console moves data around to various storage uh, places, um, that goes through a pretty tight ba um, bottleneck on most typical PCs. The reason for that being that PCs are modular and uh, and meant to scale. So, uh, like a PC, a PC's motherboard is going to have like a certain bus and a certain bandwidth that it can move data from a solid state to RAM or from from RAM to video memory. Like there's a lot of different storage places that are running at a lot of different speeds um, because uh, largely PCs skew more towards multifunction and uh, customizability around a price point. Because of that, uh, there are certain bottlenecks baked into the design because the parts are modular. Um, Sony, and, and I respect the engineering behind it 100%, uh, Mark Cerny is it's great, and the stuff he's doing for computing is, is fantastic. They went back and they were like, look, we're making, like, we're making a whole self-contained PC. We don't have to keep all these inherited inefficiencies. Um, for a long time, consoles have done that. And the PS4, with them having just a huge unified bank of uh, a very fast system memory, was a step towards that. The PS PS5 is like another step beyond. Um, and... Uh, it, it's pretty cool, um, and it seems to be working uh, really well. That said, uh, PC has a, an advantage in that it both can be a tech leader, but it can also adapt really quickly. So I could see in a year or two new motherboards coming out, especially with the NVMe drives that are being being made now. A motherboard with just a new kind of I.O. bus. It really wouldn't be that challenging to make those. The problem just was there was never a reason until now. <laughs> like, uh, everything was made around the inefficiencies as they exist. And people have gotten really elegant at circumventing those those problems or, or making them invisible. But now the PS5 is coming along and being like, you don't have to worry about one of those problems anymore. So, uh, I could see, I could see uh, now that the engineering is out there and there are parts being manufactured, I could see a... Uh, I could see PC hardware coming out with like a new, new kind of motherboard that has that sort of thing. Um, that's that's my that's my feet. that's my gut. So, that's kind of the idea. Um, that's the, that's the the big leg up PC has tech wise, or sorry, the PS5 has tech wise on the PC architecture. Like you're you're not PCs as a platform, um, such as they exist, and that they're modular, and you install an operating system on them, and then install programs that are then managed by that operating system. That whole dynamic has existed for like 30 years. Um, and there's never been a time to like reboot the whole thing and uh, try to address some of the inherited handicaps. Um, because yeah, I mean, computers are still booting through the BIOS, which is like something they used to boot up magnetic disk things back in the 70s, I think. I might be being a little too hyperbolic there, but the BIOS was like how ancient terminals used to turn on and modern motherboards are s still using that pro There's a newer one now that's faster, but yeah, computers still turned on the exact same way that they did in their like early 80s all the way up until like 2015. Um, because like, it works. Like why, why go back and mess with something if it's working? That's, that's such a thing. So, it's kind of neat though, like making new consoles gives gives uh, hardware manufacturers that exact chance of to go back and rework something even though it's working. You get a, you get to make a new hardware platform that has the potential of having a huge install base, so it's like it's worth the engineering time to reinvent that particular wheel. That's what I love about consoles, man. Um, or just like bespoke computers in general. Cell phones are kind of that as well. Cell phones have. Whoa, the uh, the surge in like uh, battery performance and miniaturization of computing, driven almost exclusively by the proliferation of cell phones, um, efficiency of computing hardware. It's been really really cool to see like engineering and basically capitalism find these new barriers and try and smash through them. 
Oh, yeah. Sean, cell phones have been smaller computers, or mobile computers for... Gosh, 15 years now? They're just, they're, they've just been approaching closer and closer to the sophistication of a, of a, say, normal, like a desktop PC, in terms of, like, their feature set and uh, the, the components that are contained within. Just built my first PC. I think I'm going to hold off on buying a PS5. Bought a PS4 at launch and was playing port of PS3 games for a year. Yep. Game over. Um, as, I, as I was partially lamenting, uh, the, the PS5 reveal event didn't really do a whole lot of... Like, didn't show you a window of what you'd be playing when you buy a PS5. It showed you a window of what PS5 is going to look like in, like, two years. Which I thought was a weird... Weird angle to take? Um, showing more like this is our intention for the ecosystem, not necessarily. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's the the, the idea. Is like this is what you're buying into, rather than. Uh, rather than showing you, uh, like we're trying to convince you of our two-year plan, rather than convincing you that it's going to be worth the money on day one, which is usually what those marketing beats, the tenor they take. Hey, what's up, Toe Cutter? Can't get fast boot to work on my home-built PC. It's driving me mad. You know what? I've never had luck with fast boot either. Um, but I like whenever I, I've lately been on rated drives, which I suspect it might be causing some some performance weirdness. I really do. Um, I don't know. I, I think I just need to go with one fat ass solid state or one fat ass NVMe. I kind of have the. Uh, the budget to do something like that. I don't have to get so clever with parts anymore. It's still, I think, it's still a fun part of the metagame, though. Ugh, trying to maximize, like, um, cost for, for performance. That, that, uh, sort of trade-off. I feel like Sony's already admitted that the pandemic is slowing their production line, so they couldn't launch with as many consoles as they normally would. So they may be prepping for a lower, lower sales period and longer growth curve than normal. It's possible. Yeah, I think that's a, a very reasonable expectation. I I think they've even said as much in their investor calls. Um, yeah, it's... It'll be interesting to see. I, I think... I think just the power of the brand is going to give them and all the momentum they need in the, like, first month. Uh, and if, if it's supply constraint, too, they'll get a... They'll get a... A weird boost out of people trying to be the one that owns it, you know? Um, beyond that, though... Yeah, it remains to be seen. I mean, the, th the thing that is more concerning of, like, if we're headed towards an economic downturn and people just don't have the disposable money... Um... Oh, shit. Why do I do this to myself? I think... on the, In the scale of, like, a year and a half to two years away, it's feasible, it's feasible that a lot of people who may have had the disposable income to buy a PS5 at that point wouldn't, or can't justify the luxury spending when they have a PS4 already, or anything else. So, uh, yeah, I think... It seems... I mean, I, I'm kind of surprised. People people haven't really gotten so scared that they've stopped all discretionary spending yet. I mean, I consider that evidenced by the fact that I'm making any money on Twitch at all, but... Uh, it is a... Uh, it'll be an interesting thing. Depending, depending on how it goes. Depending on how it goes. I mean, I think, I think government assistance would probably help a lot in that regard, but apparently we're not getting any of that. So, neat. Very cool. Frick. That dude got in my ass. Got all the way in my ass. Silver lining to that. May light a fire under Sony's ass to make a Game Pass for PC equivalent. Guest account. I think it's... I would say that's a matter of time. I think it depends on how many PS5s to sell. Um, and to some degree, how much money Microsoft is kind of publicly making with Game Pass. But yeah, I think uh, I can't. It's getting harder and harder to understand a platform holder that doesn't want to be everywhere they possibly can. Especially since selling the box is no longer the number one goal. It still is for Sony, and I'm glad. Like, I'm glad they're still playing that game. But, uh, they... 
signs definitely di definitely point that they're taking steps in that direction, and I don't think there'd be steps unless, you know, there's a goal in mind. I think they're just taking some baby steps and seeing what happens, which is smart. Sony's... I feel like Sony's never been wildly, uh... Berserk when it comes to their business maneuvers. An economic downturn in America affects certain groups more than others. I am super fortunate, one might say privileged, to be in the less affected sets of groups. Uh, yeah, I, I may or may not be. I mean, right now my revenue is mostly coming from individuals, so an economic... I'm sure an ec economic downturn would affect me. Um... More than just maybe advertisers being less willing to spend, um, you know, there's revenues, there's revenues that way, or entertainment holders less willing to buy promotional media, which is another way that I can I can earn money. Um, I've I have fixed myself into a very privileged part of the economy, for sure. I figure I might as well soak it in while it's around. Hmm. They make less money off PC ports. Death Stranding is being published by 505. Don't know how much money Sony will get for that. Uh, well, Sony didn't own Death Stranding, I don't think. I think I think Horizon Zero Dawn is the more interesting interesting case there. Wait, does does Sony own Kojima Productions? They don't, right? I'm pretty sure Kojima's Kojima Productions is self-owned. Could be, I could be wrong about that, but I, that's what I thought. They have a publishing deal. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, Death Stranding, I think, is like... I'm sure part of the publishing deal had a, you know... Uh, uh, exclusivity window. That just makes sense. I think you'll, you'll see something similar with Sony's first-party releases. Which, weirdly, is kind of behind the times, given what Microsoft is doing, but... Ah, Jesus Christ! In my whole ass again. Ooh. Um. Yeah, I th I think given given the sort of reasonable approach that I was previously describing that I've seen from Sony, I'm sure if Horizon Zero Dawn sells really 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 well, I'm certain that they will kind of do what Rockstar does, which is release their software on their platforms or or the most advantageous platforms to them first. And then after they're certain that they've, they've, you know, maximized the, uh, the benefit of, like, getting all the sales and all the consoles sold and all of that, sold the DLC, that's when they'll release it on another platform. So they get to double dip without introducing the question that they may be cannibalizing their own sales. Ugh. I believe Sony bankrolled Death Stranding but don't own. Probably part of it. Um, given the production agreement, yeah. It's the end of the level? No, it is not. This is the halfway point of this level. Doom Eternal is a long game. And the levels are long. <laughs> Alright. This will be a personal best for the day, though. Potentially. Doomslayer ever solved the problem without his fists or guns? No. How come Rockstar always does console then PC? They seem to usually strike publishing deals with console manufacturers. Um, because they... This is my assumption. Um, based on, like, when you have Rockstar's clout and Rockstar's, like, ability to move consoles, why wouldn't you go to Sony or Microsoft and be like, pay us money like we, we can give you a month of exclusivity we can give you a week of exclusivity what what can we do here give us some money uh and there's no platform holder on pc so they don't have that leverage you know so rockstar's rationale is that um if we launch on this platform first we get their money and everyone who wants to buy it on that platform and some people who are going to buy it on another platform um then we release it on the next platform after a year or two and then we get everyone who was waiting for that platform 
plus the people who already want it on that platform. I don't, I don't, I don't think double sales is is really that much of a motivation. I think it's more like the exercising the leverage to ask for publishing deals. That's that. I would guess that's where most of the real money comes from. And it can be more than just a, a check. Like it can be who who gives us the better freebies. Um, who gives us who gives us good placement in the in the you know like the homepage. Who uh, who's who's going to obligate like four tweets? Just things like that. Who 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 gives us the best advantage? What's up, Harlan? There's really no downside, um, aside from people being upset, you know, bad will uh, with your consumer base. There's really no other downside, though. You don't lose sales. You get you get advantages and lose nothing. Uh, aside aside from maybe a staggered release. No? A staggered release would probably be easier to handle, too, just from a work perspective. Less platforms to cover, less patches to, to deal with. I guess this is maybe a little too mathematic about it, but okay, let's say let's say you're Rockstar and you can release on console and PC. If one of the console publishers could offer you more money than whatever that launch window would have been in retail sales of the PC game, why wouldn't you take it? It's it's not remotely that that simple, but it's I think that's just more of a business way to think about it. I think I think that about like there were people who got kind of upset at uh, at indie developers for publishing on the Epic Game Store, which to me, you know, that's one of those no-brainer decisions. If you're just an indie dev and you're, you know, you're in crazy in debt, trying to make a game that's supposed to recoup all that money, maybe if you're lucky, and Epic comes along and says, "Hey, guess what? You don't have to worry about any more ever." And all you got to do is publish on our platform. I can't. I can't imagine how relieving that must be to be able, like, go to go to sleep the night after you inked the deal with with Epic, who basically says we're gonna give you this. Like, your costs are already covered. Um, I don't know that they did that. That's that's me being. That's me assuming a lot on behalf of their generosity. But uh, any money is better than none. Especially when you're taking on all the cost yourself, and then you're going to release on Steam and get buried by 18 games that also released that day. Um, how could you say no to that? I'm just hoping Miles Morales isn't just PS5. I know it's going to shift consoles, but I'll be upset if I can't play it on my 4. I mean... There is a Sentinel power core huh. nearby. You can use it to activate the mech and That's a question. Yeah, that's an interesting question. Will they ever put Miles Morales out on PS4? <sighs> Smile's a full game. Um, I think they compared it to Uncharted Lost Legacy in terms of scope. Which is... Uh, they, I think, was Insomniac. I could be wrong. But there was that comparison made. Um... So, I don't know. Your definition of full game gets, like, it's kind of dicey. When does when does a game cross over from being a, a not full game into a full game? Uh, I, I had pretty conservative expectations based on the amount of time. And the, like, kind of the lack. Like, we didn't really see much of that game. We just saw the new Miles character model and some dialogue. Yeah, they said it was an expansion, but also a standalone. So... For me, I'm kind of thinking of it like a, you know, like a like a Blood Dragon, a Far Cry Primal. I think it's going to be the same Manhattan, running on PS5. Like, they they showed that in the tech demo, right? They showed the Spider-Man. Ooh, delicious. Um, actually, I'm going to take a break because I'm my stomach's going crazy. Um, but they sh they showed it. Like they showed PS4 running in engine on PS5. So, I expect that. In addition to them making this, like, what I would consider maybe two-thirds experience, maybe half. Like, I... My gut says $40, five to six hour story, um, with, like, a sprinkle of new, uh... Kind of, like, beat up the bad guys side quests. Easy enough. Because Spider-Man had plenty of those. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Just so they, like... Spider-Man sold PS4s like crazy. So, of course, they're going to have it launch with one. That just makes all the sense in the world. Or launch window at least, um, but yeah, I I think 
people should probably be pretty conservative about their expectations from the amount of content that's going to be in that game. Um, they said they were going to show more later, so that's cool. Uh, yeah, Captain, yeah. I could see the, like, the same Manhattan, they might pull a video game thing, where it's like, oh, it's Manhattan, except now there's gas. I guess they already did that in Spider-Man. <laughs> but, like, some, some gimmick to, like, change the color scape or, like... I don't know, swap all the textures with dirty ones because it's abandoned now. Ah, it's gonna be this. Like I think it's just gonna be a twist on all the assets that were in original PS4. Uh, anyway, I gotta I gotta go eat. I'm gonna take a break. See you guys in just a second. A series from oh, you wanna hear what I want? <clears throat> what do I want? I want this cup of boba, and I want some good games of Doom Eternal, and I want to chill. With some cool people. Luckily, I got them all. Oh, kitties? If I die, there will be a cute kitty. Uh, oh yeah, the new Battletoads? Man, who knows? Games take a long time to make. Um, also, it's, man, maybe it's possible that they weren't the, on a milestone review. Somebody's just like, nah, that ain't it. That ain't it. Sometimes that happens. What you drinking? This is, uh, boba tea, milk tea. Yeah, the build that I played, the build that I played at E3, it wasn't bad, but I can see, I can see a path to being like, ooh, we gotta, we gotta take this one back. Um, the thing, uh, I appreciate where their head was at. Um, it was, it was, there was a lot of animation. Like that, and that's like, that's one of the cool, or one of the identifiable design tenets of Battletoads is that they, you know, they're like big, goofy, itchy and scratchy, violent cartoons. Their hands turn into giant fists, or anvils, or drills, or whatever. For no really explainable reason, there's no lore behind it. <laughs> I kind of want you to die in game, haven't seen the kitties yet. It's understandable. Uh, I, I knew that this is this is what I'd be biting off. Uh, oh yeah, Battletoads. The problem with the animations, though, is that animations take time. Uh, and beat-em-ups uh, typically need really f fast and sharp animations. So, I, it, was, it was pushing back and forth between that a little bit. There'd be these big, lusciously hand animated s sequences that were attacks but it was really hard to tell at what point in there the hit was happening uh, or what the attacking frames were um oh uh milk carton you're trying to play robocop and yeah robocop you like it seems like a lot of robocop's game is spam like projectile spam um he's got he's got some decent neutral attacks uh uh, but he's he's slow and very recovery heavy, as you'd expect from you know Robot Man. Um, he has a few good tools, but not not a lot. Um, he's got a he's got a pretty quick overhead. He can do corner carries, and I think he's got some good some good uh, some good corner combos. But landing those combos is rough. Uh, yes, Kala, there are kittens, or rather, there will be. Once I die, that's the devil's bargain I'm making with, a uh, frick. With chat, is that every time I die, I go summon a kitten. Man. Uh, are you going to play your pre-cyberpunk game Siberia so close to release, or have you already beaten it since one else? I have not beaten it, no. I haven't played it since Funhouse, but, uh... Yeah, that'll probably be closer to, to Cyberpunk's release.
Yeah. I've been paying attention to the game. You guys can't can't fool me with your chat. Your interesting your interesting things you're saying in chat. Absolutely not. There's a black version of the PS5. That would actually distract me, but I've seen uh, I've seen people mock it up. I think it looks pretty good. I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, Kali, you you really liked the PS5's look, didn't you? I didn't mean that to sound antagonistic at all. I'm actually it's it it is growing on me. Um, I realized like. Between it just being another box, and it looking like that, I have to admit, you know, the... It's fabulous. It's super fabulous. I really don't think it looks bad. Uh, I guess... I... Uh, there, there are some functional things about it that are very confusing to me. Um, but I don't, I don't think I'm... I don't think I'm gonna say it looks bad either. It's bold. It grew on me a little bit too? Yeah. When I'm, when I'm like, when I'm thinking about it, like, why wouldn't I rather my consoles be, like, loud and proud a little bit, you know? I, mean, I like, I looked at, I looked at my Switch, which I willingly put, like, a, a Super Famicom themed skin onto, and I'm like, well, you know. I can't, I can't blame, I can't blame them for giving it a little pizzazz when that's what I was probably going to as well. I was, or that's what I was probably going to do. Come on. Jeez, us. Hey, whoa! God damn. Chill out. Oh, the Spider-Man console? Yeah, there, there will certainly be uh, special editions of it. Yeah, what mostly gets me are just the dimensions. It's an oddly shaped little little guy. Yeah, not Buster. That's <clears throat> that's ultimately where where I landed. Is like I have to give them credit for making something that wasn't just another gray box. So, like the weird art piece vibe of the PS5. Yeah, it, it's that's something. So, oh wait, is this the? No, this isn't the rage room. Never mind. That's on a. That's on the super gore nest level. It's gonna be a while before I get there. Haha! -ha! Dude. Ugh. Ah! Oh! Ooh. That was dangerous. Ugh. 
All right, sure. Ah! Yeah, there's all the... God, God bless the memes, you know? At least we got that, too. Shoot. Forgot that this was right here. Shit. Man. When he does that shit, what are you supposed to do? You can't, you can't run away. You can't dash. Dude. We can hear the plasma rifle skin. A little loud, isn't it? <laughs> Rattle the windows a little bit. Hey, what's up, Bullocks? Yeah. No, Captain, uh, I can vouch for Shadowbringers. Shadowbringers has one of the best endings. Um, it's, it's one of those endings that not only provides a really satisfying conclusion, but also opens up a lot new, a lot of new story possibilities. So yeah, Shadowbringers is, is A+. Plus. I'll, I'll go ahead and vouch for that. But then again, I like Stormblood a little more than Heaven's Word myself, so... My, uh... Hmm. It hasn't ended yet? Oh. I guess I consider, like... That's a good point. The patch patches do at MSQ. I guess I considered whatever ships with the expansion as being that thing, and then patch content is just sort of out in the ether, but... That's a good point. Fuck. Forgot about that old guy. Oh, what game is that? Final Fantasy fourteen. Just got to the quest where Alize shows up again in the post Heavensward patch cycle for reference. I loved Heavensward though. Heavensward was good. Heavensward was like that to me, Heavensward was when it were finally felt like a classic Final Fantasy game. It was really good, but it was just like it's the type of story that's kind of like that would be like a Final Fantasy IV kind of story. Where it was a lot more high fantasy and and stuff like that. I'm not, yeah, I probably have an idea. I'm gonna shoot his shoot his ass to death. Does blowing off the parts do more damage? Oh, seven shots. I wonder if you shoot the chunks of his brain off if that hurts more. I was gonna buy a flight stick for Elite Dangerous, but I feel like it'd be nice for Doom with how many fucking button presses it needs. It doesn't need all of them. But yeah, you are kinda you are kinda piloting Doom Slayer sometimes. Garlean Empire stuff is the true MSQ. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, for sure. That's a good point. It is a side story. A really good one, though. Yeah, I thought it was wild that they had all these patches setting up the story. And then the expansion was like, yeah, none of that matters right now. You got other problems. Okay. kind of cool that a game can sort of like give you a vacation from itself <laughs> by still being that game. Yeah. I mean Stormblood was basically like Final Fantasy 14 goes to Japan. Man, Stormblood had some pretty classic Final Fantasy stuff in it too. 
and the race of turtle men and that whole thing. If you're not, if you're not swooping in and like uh, solving political unrest with some kind of like animal nation, it's not a Final Fantasy game. is nearby yeah the uh I uh, suppose part two reviews are out oh, you did it guys video games are art there are a few reviews that explicitly say the concerns that I had which is that the entire game is gonna be like hey violence is bad but then also making you do all the violence and it's just like you can't you can't lecture me for doing the thing, the only thing you're letting me do. It's like some weird reconditioning garbage. Ow. The extraction point has been identified. I will mark its location on your HUD. Yeah, it, it it's I it you know, it's a healthy portion of confirmation bias, but uh um Actually, one of the things that one of the reasons the break was so long is because Steph and I were reading one of the polygon or the polygon review from uh, Maddie Myers. That actually, I mean, I haven't played it yet, so I can't tell how accurate it is, but seemed to pretty pretty directly uh, confirm a lot of my concerns about the narrative of that game. It's like Last of Us. You can only you can only do the Last of Us and the Bioshock. Like you can only do the Hotline Miami trick once. You can't make a sequel out of it. That kind of goes against the very core of, of the, like, the narrative punch of doing that sort of thing. Yeah. What the? Oh. Fuck it. No! Are we talking about Last of Us Part 2? Reviews are out. Fuck. Oh, okay. Whew. Yeah, it was time for the quad. Yeah, at least... So, all the reviews say that it is very well made. Um, which is, you know, means that there's something to enjoy there. Uh, I have the capacity of, of disagreeing with... Well, maybe I don't, actually. Sometimes, sometimes that stuff can get under my skin. When, like... When a piece of media is being like, Yeah, you feel this way, don't you? And I'm like, I don't. I actually don't. Um... I remember, like, the boys kind of had that vibe of, like, yeah, duh, yeah, this is what it's, yeah. And I'm just like, no, man, that's, I'm just not on your vibe. And you can't keep assuming that I am. Um, you think you, I'd like Vice games? Probably. I, I typically like Vice's writing. A lot of anime can sometimes get that way. When it's like, they're showing me upskirts and the show's like, yeah, hell yeah. Chick's panties, am I right? I'm like, eh, didn't need that right now, actually. And that you think that I wanted it, and that you just did me a favor, actually makes me feel pretty gross. And I don't want to feel gross. <laughs> so, I always got the vibe that, like, the game's gonna be like... I hate to... Yeah, I shouldn't keep bringing that up because I still haven't finished it, but... The boys, I mean, but... Um, that's, that's the vibe I got about Last of Us 2, is it was gonna be like, Violence bad! Bad on you for being violent! Now go do some violence! And I'm like... Systems. How can I learn? How can I like? I don't know. How can I take this message seriously when you're enabling it? Huh? Ice bomb modification to your equipment launcher has been completed. Once fired, the bomb will douse nearby enemies in freezing gases. You'll have to manually toggle the launcher to fire either ice bombs or frag grenades. I hate unnecessary fan service. Yeah. So, um, what I've heard, I can't remember. I think Kojima may have said it. Um, 
it's weird to think about, but like fan service or fan service characters, it's kind of part of everything's marketability in Japan. It's almost like codified that every property that wants to hit big has to have one, at least one weird fan service insert character so that like models can cosplay as them to promote the game or they can have mo they can have figures to sell. Um, it's all part of like the revenue model of entertainment properties in Japan more often than not. So I guess in the way that like in the West there's microtransactions. It's kind of, just just making that comparison kind of shows how how kind of gross the practice can be or or, or thought about but Basically, spec ops the line. Yeah, go come to our crime. I don't want to do it. Fine. Don't you feel bad? Yeah. I mean, at least at least things like spec ops, um, like it happens in context and it happens once. Like there's the one time. You only get to do it once because when you, when you keep doing it, then suddenly it's like, okay, the parable gets lost. Now now what am I meant to assume? Are you are you telling me that this cycle is inescapable? Are you telling me that this is just life? This is just life and I have to get used to it? Like, what What do you... What? What's the vibe now? What? This feels weird. So... Ah, they're on me! Woo! Woo! Fuck, man. Yeah, Boo Sky, I have yet to see... I have yet to see anyone or any property try and do that more than once. Um, and, and do it successfully. Hotline 2 didn't even try, I don't think. I didn't really finish that game, so I'm not actually sure what the narrative was about. It was pretty goddamn complicated. It was like jumping around in time from different people's perspectives and like different decades. I'm like, what are you doing? Um... I think that was part of it, though, is that they didn't want to... They didn't want to just hit the same note again, because they realized, yeah, it was... Yeah, it's a bell you get to ring one time. Uh, Bioshock 2 didn't even try uh, to hit those themes again. It was actually really smart. It did the opposite. It was like... What... Like, instead of vaulting... Instead of vaulting the individual and... And, and like, uh, what is it? Like, deifying volition and free will? What if it's the opposite? What if we deify the the sacrifice of the self for the many? Great! And they found a ton of new, like, philosophical area to dive into, but they didn't go back to the whole, like, when you play a video game, you don't have free will. Oh, yeah. Hmm. What specifically mean do you, do you mean by the one time? Hmm. It's on a couple levels, I guess. It's one time within a series, but also one time within a game. It sounds like The Last of Us 2 hits that a lot. Over and over. The, um... The reviews seem to say that it does. Infinite kind of did that? Yeah. It felt like it tried to, and then it swerved when it realized it wasn't working. Like, it felt like that was what was happening in the game while I was playing it. The story was going in a direction, and almost live, I could feel the writers being like, Uh-oh, this... We're painting ourselves in a corner. Uh, multi uh, multiple dimensions. I'm like, come on, ma'am, really? This is what you've been staring at a whiteboard for four days for? So you can just get to parallel dimensions, ma'am? <sighs> then again, I, di I didn't play Buried at Sea, and I, I heard that that's supposed to tie it all together. So I maybe I'll get back to it one of these days. <sighs> the major theme of infinite is determinism. That's what it became, yeah. That's what it became. The problem is there was no real tie. There was no real strong thread that connected that to its setting or the themes of its setting. Like, nationalistic, you know, America of the 1900s. I guess you could argue that religion is, is high key about determination too, but there was never, that, that area was never really explored. So, it just felt, just felt a little, a little haphazard. 
setting up loose ends, but it was too little too late. Mm. Yeah, I was... By the end of Infinite, I was like, oh, you guys have lost my ass. Okay, this fight can be a little weird. I'm trying to think of how to... How to... Deal with this... With maximum safety. Okay, that's a good way to start. Frick! I thought I could squeeze through. That's my Swedish again. Man. Somewhere in this facility. That's so much damage. His exact location at this time. Biosox ending was dumb. I agree. It was pretty dumb. Still trying to distract. I missed it. <laughs> no, it's under. I understand. I understand that uh, my my uh, performance <laughs> may not be a uh, may not be something anyone wants to see right now. Oh, controls coming to PS5 and Series X. Great, absolutely great. I hope it hits that magic window where like people want games to play. Uh, or people want something to show off their new system. Hopefully they pick up a lot of sales off that. That would be fantastic. And who knows, the Alan Wake DLC might be out by then. Wow. Well. New Alan Wake when? Oh, no. They're adding Alan Wake DLC to... Control. I mean, Control is basically the Alan Wake sequel. Um, not not necessarily for strictly narrative reasons, but almost for gameplay reasons. Uh, thematic reasons. Oh, yeah. Play Playasia? Yeah, I, man, I, I've been ordering from them for, like, decades. And they already have, have pre-orders up. I'm sure that they have a loose idea of how many consoles they're going to get, so they can safely accept reservations up to a certain amount. Let's see if you're strong enough to survive this cursed season. I own control, but I'm scared to play it on my launch PS4. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't seem like the launch PS4 has handled it too well. That Alan Wake stuff isn't a joke? No. No, Alan Wake is canon in Control. The events of Alan Wake happened in the world of Control. Uh, there's references to it in the base game, and yeah, they announced... They announced, uh, DLC. What? What? Oh, shit. Yeah, come down. Waddle on over here. That's so cool. <sighs> yeah, Alan Wake got pretty repetitive after a while. I mean, the vibe is mostly what just kept me going. Just the look and the music. Hmm. Yeah, Pop-Tart. Waiting on new consoles is universally a good idea. They're almost never worth their cost when they come out. All right. This fight can be a little spotty. Have you read up on the potential lawsuit against Valve by involving a Finnish CSGO player? I have not. What's that all about? PS5 is worth it for me because I basically skipped all the PS4 exclusives and just want to play those upscaled. Not bad. Smooth moves. Whoa! I forgot that I already double jumped. Okay. 
Is there another wave? There's another wave of dudes. The rules about like what happens to demons when they're getting hit with damage while they're jumping is so weird. I guess it just takes them to one HP. Oh. Is that a death? Nope, not yet. <laughs> and we told the system seller game comes out. Held off an Xbox One for about a year. Well that's a shame, man. I I thought Sunset Overdrive was worth it, but not a lot of people did. Which is unfortunate. That game rules. You're getting closer to that one room, yeah, there's believe me, plenty of plenty of high potential potential deaths coming. Put it this way, either I'm gonna die pretty soon, or it'll be a new a new personal best. Which would be pretty groovy. I guess that's still not a cute kitten though, is it? You guys, they're so cute too. There's and they're so warm and fluffy. They're so cute and fluffy. If I had to if I had to pick one thing that is my favorite, it's how cute and warm and fluffy they are. <laughs> I think that's my favorite part. What are you doing? Oh. Swatting him over there. Yeah, I I wonder about that. Insomniac getting acquired. I worry that they were they were like in financial trouble because their their pro like I think Sunset put them into a hole they never really got out of. They tried to do a lot of experimenting. They like they made a couple of VR games and a couple of mobile games. It was actually pretty cool seeing them operate as an independent company and try and stay diverse. But I don't I think they just had like like five years without a big hit. I think they just, I think they had to sell. You're talking about the idea of consuming media when it gets released so you can talk about it with friends on the podcast? Early adoption of video consoles is really the same. Huh. I guess, yeah, I guess you're right. Um, you know, but for the ones that are like PC, but yeah. If you don't have all that disposable income and everyone's talking about, you know, the Demon Souls remake, for sure, yeah. That makes, that makes sense. Never thought about that. It does suck when there's, there's a, a literal cost behind maintaining relationships with people sometimes. <laughs> I appreciate the efforts. You guys are you guys are getting crafty. Getting crafty with your uh your attempts to get me killed. Was the Sunset Overdrive a really solid game? It totally, totally was. Sunset Overdrive is an amazing game. Damn it! I, I, for some reason, I thought this time it wasn't going to bug out and give me another jump. It didn't. Yeah, Sunset Overdrive is, is fantastic. It's on PC, and please, please play it. If you haven't. Oh, Brian Howie, another month of hoping to see Disco Elysium. Yep. Yeah, sorry if I, man, if I just didn't, if my stomach were obeying today, I'd feel a lot more, a lot more, uh, in the groove, but... I think it's probably best to not push it. This room blows. Uh, yeah, it actually is really bad. Let's see if I can. Ah, that was a bad call. Fuck, man. Like if that Kako chomps on me, I'm gonna be in a bad spot. Oh. 
<sighs> yeah, this this skin is it's pretty ridiculous. Getting a new Jack and Daxter? I don't know. I hope not. Like, let's make something new. Does it have to be the same thing? I guess the new Ratchet looked neat. That's the other thing that that kind of kind of ruffles my feathers a little a little bit. Developers that make the same thing for decades don't usually typically don't want to keep making that thing. The only exception seems to be Nether Realm. They seem just like peas in a pod making Injustice and Mortal Kombat. Hey, accelerate! Thanks for the resub. Uh, so it bums me out that the first thing, second thing I guess, that gets announced from them after getting sold by Sony or getting bought by Sony is the big Sony property they're known for. Like, the, it's just the heavy hitters. It's two of them, immediately. It's it's Ratchet and Spider-Man. The two biggest things. They just, like, went down the list of things that sold the best and ordered that. <laughs> oh, man. Dep. A shell and Monk's reboot would be sick. I don't know if that's ne next game from NetherRealm Studios, but... I could definitely see, like, Warner... Taking pitches for something like that. Who knows if they're ever going to green light it, but... Okay, this is the first real bad room. Yeah, Resident Evil 8 and Demon's Souls remake looked great. I, I still like bug snacks. Fuck. I don't want to be stuck in here. Fuck! <laughs> Shit, man. Ugh. That was stressful. There's, uh, yeah. Yeah, I actually haven't played, uh... <laughs> I haven't played all of Horizon Zero Dawn, so... Um... Just out of ignorance, I'm like, okay, cool. Alright, more of that. Alright, cool. Uh, uh, when it comes out on PC, I think I'll finally play it, and maybe then I'll be a little more jazzed for that. Oh, yeah. Okay. What's up, Notorious Spy? Just die, please. <laughs> Maybe this was it. I had to incentivize myself properly. When I get to deny chat certain things, then I play perfectly. Damn it. This is both my cooldowns. I mean, this fight's really bad, too. So. Nah, I, I can't turn it off. I can't turn these- I can't turn these gamer skills off. This is just how I am. Maybe bringing a kitten would help the run? Probably. Yeah, the the yeah the open world fatigue. I mean that that's I had that when the original Horizon came out. I played the intro. I was like, oh, this is art. And then yeah, the very first time I saw that mini map, like the world map, just exploding with objectives. I was like, Bleh. I turned it off and never turned it back on again. And it's not that I didn't want to play it. I was just like, man, I. The beast I guess I don't want to play that. Your hate must match his will. Only then will you be truly safe. Okay. Saw the whiplash, I thought. Fuck. 
Yeah. There you are. Come on, any dash. Cool. I think that's I think that's all the big boys. No? There's another oh, there's another. And uh oh boy. Okay. Fuck. Uh, fuck. I need a chainsaw again. Whoa! There was another one right there. Oh! Okay. Hold on a second. Oh. oh boy, okay. No! How did none of those guys drop health? Oh, fuck you. I guess I t uh, took the damage after they all died, shortly after. The only thing that makes sense. Damn it! Why aren't you? <laughs> yeah, that was close. Very, very close. I think I still have the. I think I still have the death rune though. I don't think I've used that yet, so. I actually get two deaths. Oh, Busca, you think? Man. I didn't think Ashley Birch's VO was that bad. I thought it was I thought it was really good. That's just me though, you know, I'm not a trained actor at all. I thought she sounded great. If there I mean if there's anything I would put it more up to the direction than anything. It's like we've heard that kind of character, the sort of like beleaguered but determined breathy heroine like I think she's got I think she's a better voice actress than Aloy lets her express I said that um having not played Horizon Zero Dawn though so I don't know that much about the character to be honest she just does kind of seem like capable determined protagonist Hmm. Yeah, hey Ash, what you're playing is pretty great. Always has been. Hmm. Oh, she was fun on the TF2 stuff, but you play Horizon Zero Dawn, they all sound like soap opera char characters on separate sound stages. That's because that's probably that's probably how they're directed. Um, well, I, I guess I guess I don't know the situation, but I do sometimes feel the urge to like be like you know sometimes sometimes they're told to sound exactly like they do, and they're such a good actor they sound like it. In his destruction, the myth of the Slayer's strength is exposed now to us. Can you see it, brothers? He has lost the result to continue. Eat his soul. I must survive this. Protect me in my time of need, and you will secure your place in the new world. <laughs> the soon to be dead people? Unfortunately, at the moment, I have no reason to kill them. Unless, hold on, let me... <sighs> Rocket launcher lock-on mod? Caca demons? Okay. Fodder demons with microwave, 30 fodders with remote detonate. Eh. Your super shotgun is nearby. A relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. 
Right. I remember what's on the other side. Soundstage stuff with physical acting, props, and other actors is by far the minority of game audio stuff. Yeah. Oh shit. Alright, this part. Yeah, like, as I remember, I, I mean, I'm... I know that there have been games shot on set before, but I feel like Uncharted was one of the first, the original Uncharted, to really, 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 really dick dive into it. And have that be how they get all their performances. Fuck. Just like that. How do you dodge a whiplash in this area? Fuck. I can't fucking see. That's the other thing, like, the muzzle flash of certain guns gets so ridiculous. Fuck! Ah. Really? I'm scared. Fuck! Why did you drop down right there? No! Uh, okay. I thought I got them both for a second. Would have been sick. Please respawn. Please respawn. Okay. Uh. God, that room sucks! hurt so much. You don't dodge whiplash, you ice bomb and myrtleize it. I did forget I had ice bomb. I did forget. I'm uh, I'm pretty bad at that. Forgetting that I have certain tools available to me. I just get caught up in like just the mechanics of trying to to operate the game, you know. Forget to hit all the buttons. <sighs> it's okay. I understand. I understand the antagonism. Today of all days, it makes the most sense. Oh. Wait. Oh, so it's 25 health or 25 armor? It's 25 either way? Oh, okay. And, uh, I guess in 2016, you got more... More health than you got armor! Um, I guess I might as well. Go seeking rockets. Uh, this is not the furthest I've gotten, but it's getting pretty close. Um, I can't remember. I know that I died in the, the super shotgun room. I think I died at a fight past that. Complete this run out of spite. Yep. Ooh. Dasher Dasher. This is permadeath. Yes, well, streams it is. It is, it is. You know I'm out here playing on the most gamer of gamer modes. Alright, you have to go through. I could have done it. I got that upgraded dash now. I'm gonna cry when the kittens find a home. Oh, I'm only taking care of them for the day. Eh? 
I feel like there's something I should be jumping to. Oh, right. Dang it. What is that? Why am I, like... I did not get a cat. I am taking care of cats. Or, I'm only I'm only harboring them for one day. While a, while a friend gets a tattoo. What? What? Let's try that again. God, why am I... I'm biffing this. How many gift subs for the cat to replace candle cam? That would actually be very, very difficult to set up, but... I, uh... I'm nothing if not uh, a slut for money. So I'm gonna say... 3,000 gift subs. Oh! Fuck me. They're, they're gonna be gone tonight, by the way. Like, it would only be for this, this exact one stream. Right. 3,000, 3,000 gift subs. That's all it takes. Don't actually do that, please. Or do, I guess. That'd be a lot of money. <laughs> Ugh. I'm gonna play that Dino Furry game? Hell yeah. Hell yeah I am. The the weirder ones I I love the weird ones. I've tempted you? That's a lot of money. That's like almost ten thousand dollars. Keep that in mind. Busca, thanks for gifting a sub. Yep, it's three thousand or two. Oh, excuse me, two thousand nine hundred ninety-nine to go. You're basically done. Does not feel great. One three thousand for the way there. Loki, thanks for gifting five subs. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm also not gonna keep count. You guys have to do that. And I have to believe you. <laughs> uh, Loki, thank you for the thank you for the five gift subs. Thank you. The track is so good. I'll tell you what, guys. If I beat this level, I'll bring a kitten out anyway. Because, for one, it's probably not going to be... If I do beat this level, it's probably not going to be that long until I die again. And for two, uh, that would be... That would also mean that I've hit a PB, so why not celebrate with a cute little kitty? I can make fan art? Oh. No, we, we, we can... I think we, we've already struck a good, a good, uh, a good bargain here. Let's see here.
Yeah, this shot this shotgun skin is cool. It's a shame that I've very rarely had the chance to use it, but. Okay, so. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I'm gonna try to fly my way to the meat hook master as soon as possible. Um, presuming I don't die in this room. Oh, shit, that does so much damage. I sh Nah. What the fuck? This game is stressing me out, man. Oh, that's right, some of them have health on them, but they don't... They don't all. Yeah, maybe not against Cacodemons. I agree. Bad call. One of these has, uh, lost souls in them, but I can't remember. Okay. I don't have... Oh, boy. Fuck. Fuck. Oh! Fuck. Huh. Why didn't I leave him? What? No, I could have used him to pop the other one. Dang it, I gotta... I gotta figure out the layout of this room. I'm sure that's what those cue balls are there for. Fuck. Bad idea. Hmm. Did I get... I never got to the... This might be as, as far as I've ever gotten. Attention, all cultist base personnel. Please I can't remember. The priest must Fuck, survive. that's right. This I hallway is actually kind of rough. Must Fuck. Call. There's some some bonus mans on one of these, yeah, one of these side rooms. Ugh. Yeah, they're just snoozing. I mean, I'm probably gonna die pretty soon, so it was it was getting close to cat time. Either way. Hey, what's up, saying Groku? Want the cat sleep? Puh. I'll have plenty of time to sleep. That's all cats do. They just sleep all the time. Um, no. We do not have a kitten. Uh, or rather, I guess we do technically. 
we are we are currently um, housing four kittens just for the day while their foster mom is. Oh, you're gonna go ahead and bring one over. Well, I was gonna yeah. Then sit down here. You can keep playing. Oh, okay. People are gonna be really pissed off to know there's a kitten right there, and they can't see it. Mighty rough. <sighs> I'll have to be careful to not yell. Ah, I have to. Now I have to. Kitten's right there. Oh, you got him? Yeah. I mean, come on, Steph. You can't do that. You can't have a kitten right there. Yeah. Enjoying a snack? All right, hold All right. on. This Are whole thing? Can... Not the whole thing. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay, so we got a little kitten snack here. Hold on a second, let me... There we go, just so I can see the framing. Yeah. Okay. You want some more goo? Want some more kitten goo? This is the content people come to see. Cute kitties eating kitty goo. Ooh. Kate thinks that we should get a naked cat. So that way I can have it, and I don't have to worry about fur. Like a hypoallergenic cat? Uh, well, she thinks that I should have like the no fur, like Persian cats. Mm -hmm. Um, just because then I will truly be able to win. Yeah, that's sure true. That that's why she wants me to get one. Okay. Maybe. Enjoy, cute kitten. Behold. See the cuddliness. So fuzzy, so furry. So innocent. Well, you're purring again. No cute little mules, though. I could use a little meow, but... All the, really, all the cute ones have happened off mic and off camera, which is... Oh, uh, which one is this one again? This sausage. Yeah. This this kitten is named Sausage. Sausage is spoken for, right? Has been placed? Yeah. Sausage has been placed, but we have two other cats that are still looking for homes. I gotta hold a kitten to remind myself what I'm killing demons for. It's all for you, Sausage. Alright. Run back. There we go. I got you. All right. Yes, very cute. Super chill. Super super chill. All of the uh, all the kitties that uh, we're we are currently temporarily fostering are cute as heck and very very relaxed. Oh, you missed it. I mean, somebody's somebody's got to clip it, right? And you don't own the pet at Super Chill? Yeah. The only thing they've done today is, uh, is, is drop a, a bit of a messy poo that, uh, made it, made it real aromatic in here for a minute. Oop. Oh, okay. Oh, man, this... God. Yeah, this room coming up is a particular slice of hell. If it is what I think it is? Hmm. And that's just gonna be armor, right? Oh, there's not even anything there. Huh. So not even all the one-ups became armor. I guess you don't need it because they just had an armor pickup, but... I don't really need anything. 
Oh, upcoming PB? Okay. Is it is it in the next fight that I died in? Yeah, it was outside, right? A really dumb way to die. I guess most of them are. I should probably save this until later. Yeah. Maybe after this fight, if I need more health. That's right, I remember getting squished up here a lot for no reason, too, so I came into this with low health. <sighs> I don't know why I instantaneously forgot. Well, I might as well go get that armor now. Okay. That feels good. Like that. That's definitely where your PB is. I think you're right, yeah, so. Oh, no! Okay, weird. Hopefully it opened the door. And surprisingly, it didn't, like, crash the game. Colvrek? With the 20 gift subs? Damn, dude! Thank you. Uh, merely, what, 29.50 away from the cam, uh, Chocolate Boy, thank you for the Prime sub, but damn, Calgary, thank you. How you doing, my, my dude? How's life? You get, for, for gifting that many subs, you are, you have elevated to Lawrence Platinum, which means I will talk to you individually like a human being. Oh, right. Damn it! Okay. This guy keeps my first house, so trying to show the love. Hey! Congratulations! That's great! Oh. Yeah, this, this part's rough. This this is a pretty... Coming back into this room? Oh, wait, never mind. This isn't what I thought it was. Um. Or is it? What? He ran through? Really? Oh, maybe not. Mm. Uh, Roy boy, thanks for the thanks for the five subs. When are you uh, called, Rick? When are you moving in? But Roy boy, thank you. Truly, this is a blessed day. We got a PB and Doom Eternal. We got some cute, cute, cuddly kitties. Cute, fluffy, fluffy guys. We got people, people closing on houses, making American dreams come true. Oh, whatever. Shit. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I, uh, I'm nearly 100% certain I hit a new PB. So that's very, very exciting. We are praising the, praising the sun today. Blessed be. Glory day. Uh, praise the sun, boys. What were the, what were the demon souls memes? We're gonna have to break those out. Give our, give our memes a 4K remaster too. Praise the Sun, I remember being the first, like, big Dark Souls meme. I don't recall there being a whole lot about demons, but, uh, I don't think it had really hit critical mass yet. Today has everything! I want to see the third kitten, or fourth? Yes! I can bring out the fourth kitten after. We should watch Slayer Gate to celebrate the new PD. Oh, yeah. On Ultra Nightmare, huh? Mmm. Mmm. Wait. 
An amazing chest I had was still demon or Dark Souls, right? So it was the big titty lady? Huh. <laughs> I don't know her name. I do not fear you. This match is not won yet. Come find me, oh. Slayer. I will be Time for crap. Oh, Guinevere. Yeah, that's it. Amazing chest was Dark Souls 1? I thought so. Wait, what? Where are you telling me to go here? Oh. Everyone in Demon Souls kept saying, Whoa, look at these Demon Souls. Yeah. Wow, gosh, I'm just so tired of all these demon souls. Isn't there like a really sh there's a really shit fight in a small arena out there. One that has like haste that's useless. Like, I don't, this doesn't look familiar. It's because it does that. I wonder, like, surely the AI won't activate if I stay up here. Hopefully I can pick off some of these boys before they, uh, get, get too rowdy on me. Hmm. There he goes, I'm running around. Oh. I don't- I think- I think them fighting each other is mostly cosmetic. It doesn't seem like they do significant damage to other demons when they're just- when they're just brawling. I'm trying to play this as, like, safe as I can, because goddamn it, this room sucks! another revenant. I know it. Where are you? There you are. What? Oh man. Okay. That was a yeet right there. What? That didn't kill him? What? Aw, oh, man. Okay, well. I know that there's still a whiplash around somewhere. I hear it. Where are you? Fuck. Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Holy fuck. Rawr. Okay, I'll take it. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Fuck. I can never quite have what I need. Ah, okay. What? The hell? Woo! Okay. The priest has stopped moving. Cool. Lock in signal now. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure why that happened. I'm not sure why I did that, but I got done. Woo! Woo! Look at that armors. How do I get up there? Oh, it's the jump pad. Yeah, Flamadeus, this this room is mean. I like to think I'm getting a little bit better about maintaining distance and like it's it's like if if you see an engagement and it's not favorable, finding a way to disengage. Uh, safely and move to another spot. Pretty useful strategy, or a pretty useful ability to have. So that you can go, like, collect ammo, get armor, like, come back to the engagement without taking more damage. Um, Goldie Smith, thanks for giving out three more subs. Thank you. That's, oh, that's a PB. You better believe that's a PB. Oh, baby, that's a PB. Um, I can't believe I actually maxed it out. I think it must have given me like an ass load of experience at some point. Uh, thoughts on Crucible skins? I don't... Do, like, should there be some? Because I don't think you can skin the Crucible. I think it'd be neat to like maybe have colors for the blade. Um, Alright, I'm gonna go get that... Get that last kitten for you guys. How do you feel about the name of that house market game. I think Returnal sounds cool as hell, but the internet doesn't seem to. I think they'll get used to it. I think House just needed like if if people can get used to revengeance, I think people can accept Returnal. Okay. Uh, thanks for showing the adorable kitty. Oh you're about to get you're about to see another one. Uh, we can't keep one because Stephanie is is super allergic to cats. Um, we accepted them today because they're in a different room and Stephanie is riding, riding the Benny wagon. She's, she's popped some Benadryl so that her face doesn't swell up. Okay, be right back with another kitten. See you soon. The Super Nintendo. Oh, also, Bennett. Once again, Thanks Simon for the Prime Belmont is whipping. Okay, guys. That's another kitten. Look. Although this one seems a little more, like, a little more kind of just generally freaked out. Um... Again, just kind of splayed out like crazy. Kind of putting arms out in all directions. Look at how cute that kitten is, though. You see? <laughs> um, this one's named Waffle. And I believe Waffle is already placed. Yes, this one has a home. Or will soon. Yeah, pretty eyes. Yeah, Waffle's a good kitten. Kind of tried to climb on me the second we got him. I'm out. Ooh, clawing in a little again in there. It's sort of splaying everywhere, but still a very good kitten. Aren't you a good kitten? Yeah. No, well, we don't need you climbing, though. Yes, very, very cute. Very sleepy. So sleepy. Kind of hug, just conked. Gosh, these cats feel like they're drugged or something sometimes, just by how mellow they are. So cute. Whoop. Whoop. See something? You want to go somewhere? No, just hanging out? Okay. All right. That's Waffle. He's just chilling. Tired little baby. Tired of growing. Tired of eating and napping. 
Makes sense. All right, this is a good personal best reward. When you say so, Waffle. Yeah, do, 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 do. All right, I'll go put Waffle back. Cat is a shoulder cat. Let Waffle climb on your shoulder. I'd be afraid that Waffle might jump or like dig in or something. All right, see you guys in a second. Okay, kitten time has come and gone. Nothing like a spontaneous crash to liven the spirits, excite the uh, excite the humors. All right, we back, we back. Uh, Mallory K, thank you for the cheer. Uh, Spirit grip, thanks for the reset, and the uh, and the no death emoji. I've been told to play this for Kane vibes. Okay, well, I guess that's Kane. Need more Tiberium. The hell position is yeah, OBS just just ate it. Just went down hard. I don't know. That was weird. That's so, that so rarely happens, but I guess it did this time. Hopefully, I can recover the recording. Otherwise, the legendary run is gonna have Twitch quality on YouTube. I looked up Kane with cat, that was a result. Okay, fair. I accept it now. Acceptable! Acceptable! Come on. Whoop! Yeah, some of the fights in this stage can be. I mean, obviously the Doom Hunter fights are bad. I forget something. Are you supposed to just be able to jump there? Oh, okay. <laughs> mm. I mean, I guess there's this. I guess if there's just minions around, I might as well fry them. Oh, I keep forgetting. I gotta get the, uh... I gotta keep working towards the, uh... Mastery for the Super Shotgun. Yeah. This might be the run. No, this is the run. It is. If I play Disco Elysium, I can't watch Lawrence stream. If I watch Lawrence stream, I can't play Disco Elysium. That is a tough one. Oh, we have skin or suit upgrade. Yeah. Sometimes we all. What? Doom guy, I'm gonna need you to actually grab ledges sometime. That is something that has to happen, my dude. Thank you, Locks Cutie. Appreciate the, uh. Ah! Come on! Fuck. For some reason there was like there was a weird delay between the uh like the second dash it just wouldn't come out so i fell a little bit more okay there jeez jeez oh look at up snow my best friend has a cat and it's for everything that she's deathly allergic to cats the only way she can interact with her baby is by getting daily allergy shots, and it works. She would rather die than be without her kid. Um, yeah, I mean, Steph, Steph actually tried a, a, a treatment course for allergies. She did that. She took, not daily, but weekly shots. Oh, I gotta concentrate. This room, this room can be bad. Yeah, she took, uh, she, like, did shots every, like, tw twice or three times a week for... God. Months. Didn't really do anything though. Sucks.
Ah. Are you? Good, good. Definitely allergic to anything seafood to the point I- Oh yeah, you've talked about that. I usually hold my breath and get far away before I vomit and it gets worse. It's horrible at restaurants when people order it or at the store when it's fresh. Yeah, I can- I can only imagine. And that's gotta be the thing where like... Weather- <sighs> Like the- the bargain with society is that that's something that you gotta deal with. Human, the human experience is a confusing, messy, broken thing. Ooh, God, I love that sound so much. I became allergic to eggs at 25 and went to breakfast with a client and almost threw up on him. Wow! Something like that just manifests, you're like, well, that's my life now. X thing is just out off, like, it's just not part of my life anymore. It was not easy to find it at home. Hmm. This whole COVID thing has ruined my cyberpunk hype stuff. Me and a couple of friends were going to get together and play cyberpunk 2020, but now we can't. Is it just fully impossible? It might, I mean, I thought... A lot of places were going back to normal. Not that... I mean... In America, God knows. That shouldn't happen. We've all kind of given up, it seems like. It's it's sad when, like... When so many people are apathetic that change just can't happen. It feels like, it feels like climate change to a degree. Some people are just not willing to sacrifice anything. Um, they'd rather- they'd rather things stay exactly as they are and, and let the dice fall where they may. And if some people gots to go, then that's just how it's gonna be. At least I get to ignore it. I 
I'm allergic to just the eggs of salmon? Huh. Salmon is a mess for allergies. Yeah. What a weird, what a weird thing. This life of ours. Okay, ten more, and then I get a bunch of free armor. My family has totally abandoned all run of precautions because they got bored. Yep. It, it kind of really drags my faith down for what the United States is capable of. It seems like the only thing that we're good at is, like, being told to work ourselves to death, so we do. It seems like that's it. That's the value of our of our society. We're like America. Like housebroken is the is the word that I keep thinking about. There was somebody who's like Americans are so housebroken. They're actually willing to. They like they want to go back to work. Um, granted, I think if our government was any kind of not shitty, uh, we would actually have like a decent benefits package, and people might be able to uh, take it easy for a little bit, but. Man, yep. And that willing to make somebody else rich. Because you think it might be you someday. It's just like, it's pyramid scheme tactics just rid out to society at large. Oh. Oh. God damn. happening globally, the people in Quebec barely wear masks. A friend in Toronto told me there's more, no more social distancing in grocery stores. I mean, if, if your case control is under, if your, your new case counts under control, then that, that's theoretically fine. It's certainly not in many states in the United States, but everyone's still behaving like everything's hunky-dory. God, I saw a, I saw a, uh, a video of some Orange County town hall meeting where it was just a bunch of just angry stupid people screaming at the Senate, uh, council members being like this is dumb my body needs oxygen just like wow you guys Jesus this is what we're dealing with can't even for three seconds put your own comfort your own like your own situation beyond your reckoning for just just a little Ontario's under 200 cases a day. Okay. See, so yeah, and like in the United or in in major cities, I think Los Angeles is like 2,000 new cases a day. Um, and I guess Texas and was it Florida? Uh, like we're seeing the fallout from people partying on um, Memorial Day weekend. That's when all these cases are popping up. I'm sure in about a mm, one week, maybe week and a half, we'll have another spike because of protests potentially. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. That's been nice being able to go out for a bit. Reclaimer, I, I'm i jealous. Florida's masking their numbers as pneumonia cases. Great. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I mean... Boy, is, boy isn't that just the, the Trump administration in a nutshell. Not saying they're doing it, but... There's certainly, like, overt pressure from the Trump administration on states to just get their numbers lower, whether or not they are lower. So, because they don't want to be embarrassed. They don't want the stock market to go down, which it did, because they're idiots. <laughs> did, like, did they think it was gonna, that people were gonna be fooled? Maybe? I don't know. Wait, where am I supposed to go? Eh? I have to backtrack? Hey, La Phantom. Celebrating my passing the Network Plus exam. Thanks for the awesome streams. Hey, man, congratulations! You're gonna go be a network admin now? That's awesome. Oh, and thank you for the thank you for gifting some subs too. That's just that's just right kind of you. Oh, I gotta go this way, right, right. They sold all their stocks, so they're chilling. Oh, you might be right. Yeah, 
I mean, the and like the headlines are out. How they're like not even gonna say where all the relief money went because it all went to big companies. It all went to like it's just correct. It's like, and, oh man, I, I shouldn't get into it. I shouldn't get into it. It's just like, oh, you're mad about looting, huh? Hmm. Yeah. No one cares. I guess that was the goal. That was the goal all along, right? Be, like, get people so, uh... So burnt out that they just stop paying attention. So... Yeah, it's happening. It's happening. This is how, this is how cyberpunk happens. Getting into it, shit's refreshing. What do you mean? Like, going outside? I could go outside. That sounds- I could do that. I could handle that. Hmm. I just want to grill, for God's sakes. I mean, you should be able to do that in the, your backyard. You can have a socially distanced barbecue. Trump is amazing when it comes to the economy. I don't even think he's good at that. That he's, he's, it's not, I feel like it's not that hard to enact policies to make the economy look better in the short term. Every, every conservative president does this. They cut taxes, there's like a bump in, in like stock prices, which is not the, not a, you know, total representative, representative of the economy. But like, it just, it just creates massive, massive debt. Um, so he's, he's just converting debt into the illusion of a good economy. And then the next president that comes in gets to inherit a collision course. The exact same thing happened with George W. Bush. It's not hard to make the economy look good. It's it's like the same old trick. Elect me because I'll be good for the economy. But they never are. They just help the rich get richer. It's just like... It's such a goddamn cycle. It's frustrating. But I guess it keeps working, so... Damn it, I should have should have chainsawed before I came over here. Hmm. Anyway, sorry. Sorry for that that spout. Sometimes I just gotta get it out. Oh shit. Shit. Fuck, man. This might be it. This might be it for old Lawrence. I didn't pick up any health either. God, I hate landing on this platform. I've died here a number of times, so this is not... And now that, like... I don't have any ammo. Fucking ammo. Oh, he died? Weird. I don't know what killed him. Weird. Maybe I hit some kind of despawn trigger? Who knows? Thank you, loot box. I hope, I hope everyone in chat stays safe too. Stay happy, stay safe, enjoy life. Hmm. It's better to be vocal than hide your feelings. Well, thank you for the, thank you for the expression, but I don't know. I think sometimes expressing negativity with no, like, constructive point, like, it, it can be good to blow off steam, but it may not be a universal good. Like, it may not be the the ideal thing to do in every circumstance. I think if you just vent out negativity a lot, uh, it just brings people down for no real purpose. Traps killed it? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, maybe that's what happened. There's not a... Yeah, there's not a life in there or anything. Yeah, to an extent, for sure. I, I hear you, I hear you. I've just... In the past, I've definitely vented negativity too much, so I try to keep that stuff in bounds. Yeah, you gotta get a good ROI. Exactly. Tim. <laughs> Choose the operative moments. Doom Hunter fight is tough as nails. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this goes.
think I'm gonna go for the. We'll see. We'll see. I might. I might just get whatever upgrade I can. I can get before Doom Hunter. But there's still more. There's still more level left. Yeah. There's at least one more. Uh, suit token. Jump away from that, can you? I feel like next next level isn't as bad as this one. Is the next one Super Gore Nest? I can't remember. Apparently Microsoft is going to go all out with their presentation next month. Yeah, I feel like it, it might just be, I mean, it's, I feel like it's just generally wise to not, uh, not over, not over, self overhype, you know? But, uh, yeah, they, they certainly still have quite a bit to show. I think it's still entirely possible for Microsoft to take the momentum, uh, because... For, again, for me, like, Sony's conference was really good. Had a great vibe, lots of great games. I think it still kind of missed the narrative beat where it's like, okay, why why should I buy this right away? Um, aside from, like, Miles Morales. That was kind of it. Um, which, again, not super not shocking that they would they would hang their, uh, their console purchasing hat on a Spider-Man title from Insomniac. Just makes sense. I don't need that right now. I thought there was something else down here. Aha! This I very much need, though. Yes. Sentinel Crystal Below, yeah. Thank you, Randy. Yeah, people love Spider-Man. Yep. And it's it's a big seller, too. It, it straight up, it bumped PS4 sales quite a bit, so... It's a system mover. I'm people, too. I like Spider-Man. I'm excited for a Miles Morales game. Was it not the Slayer who brought the demons to us? The con maker has you to thank for the gift of what? What? what hit me? It is you who are responsible for your what? suffering. I got like double hit. What? I got hit when it was really far away. I got hit again. I'll accept the second one. And then I got hit again. He hit me three times. Only one of which was actually a hit. Maybe like the hitbox for his melee attack stays out really, really long. And I just happened to stick in it to get hit twice. Yeah, that was like some hitbox fuckery. What the hell was that, man? <sighs> what a what a frustrating way to to go out. Um, dang. Okay. I was I, I thought I was gonna at least get to Doom Hunter, but I guess they'll have to wait. All right. Well, hey, one more kitty. So close via task manager and restart. Nah. I I appreciate. I appreciate you trying to give me the the out on that one, but uh, a death's a death. Yeah, I'm gonna send in a support ticket. It was fucking Denuvo got me again. Damn it, Denuvo! All right, I'll be right back. Here's Cheddar again. Although Cheddar looks like he's got a little gooey eyeball there. What's going on with that, Cheddar? You got a little squinty eye? You got a little something in your eye? Hmm. Let's get that looked at. Um, Cheddar is still available for adoption, though. If you'd like, if you'd like a little pirate cat, yar. Yeah, it looks like you got a little eye goo. That's not so bad. Cats get eye goo sometimes. At least I hope that's all it is. 
You okay, little guy? Hmm. But Cheddar is very cute. As you can see. The very, very cutest kitty. You, 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 you. This is Doom Eternal. This is what we're doing it for. This is why we're dooming. Oh, so cute. So cute, aren't you, aren't you cuties? <laughs> yes, Cheddar is a good cat. Cheddar needs a good home. So tiny. Aren't you the tiniest kitty? Where did the cat come from? Ah, uh, I have a friend who fosters kittens until they can be placed with families. But this friend is going to Vegas to get a tattoo today. So we are taking care of the kittens for today. There are four total. This is Cheddar. As we've, uh, as I've died in Doom Eternal, I have brought out each kitten in succession to say hi, to meet the, meet the crew. Cheddar's been around, around once already, so Cheddar's not camera shy anymore. Oh, so tiny though. God, beautiful eyes. All these kittens have the cutest eyes. Don't you, Mr. Musers? Mr. Musers. So fluffy. Yeah. Cheddar's purring now. Yeah, all these all these kittens are unnaturally chill. I guess they're just super super sleepy. Man, what must the world look like? It's a little cheddar. <laughs> Yeah, not even trying to climb or anything. Just kind of looking around, taking in everything. Closer to the mic. It's not very audible, unfortunately. I don't know if you heard anything. Okay, I think I have effectively maximized the uh, social media value of you. <laughs> All right, yes, very quiet. Yeah, only a few of the kittens have, have like mewed at all and only when I'm like picking them up, they're just really confused about it. All right, say goodbye to Cheddar and his weird eye. Hopefully that clears up. Might just need to get rubbed out. Sometimes kitten get, kittens get gooey eyes. Isn't that right? A little gooey. A little gooey. <laughs> just use a watered cloth? Yeah, okay. Alright. I'll be back with you guys in a second. Okay, uh, yeah, I forgot to, I guess, do an official sign-off last time. Um, I'm not done streaming, though. I'm feeling, I'm feeling some beat mania. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook that up. Uh, operative term, hook up. It's gonna take a second to rearrange my desk, get everything out here, so. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, gonna be some anime jams. Uh-oh, Zach. You may have missed the kitty. Sorry. I might bring him back out later. But, uh, yeah. I mean, there are clips, Zach. You can check out the clips. Um, Twitch chat has been good at immortalizing the the visitation of the very cute, very cute kittens. All right, but uh, that'll be it for Doom Eternal for today. Uh, this this felt pretty good. This felt better. 
Uh, I gotta admit, the last couple of times I played have been a little frustrating because I feel like I wasn't really getting anywhere. I was trying some new stuff and just hitting the same roadblocks. I've been trying to focus a little more on the game. Um, just try to elevate my mental activity a little bit. Uh, you know, Ninja Command and all. Uh, to call it just a game is a weak mindset. It's a way of life, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, new PB, right? So, it feels good. Um, it's somehow the sting is a little, shockingly, a little bit less because it came under weird circumstances. I have no idea what was going on there. Uh, but that was it. Thank you, Spirit Grip. Yep. Uh, remind. Such a weak mindset. You're okay with what happened. Losing. Imperfection of a craft. When you stop getting angry after losing, you've lost twice. There's always something to learn. And always room for improvement. Never set. And I won't. But you have that quote framed on your wall? I, it would be nice as a cross stitch, I think. Alright. Uh, I'm going to throw you guys to commercials again. I mean, what is my stream if not a never-ending loop of, uh, of, of 80s commercials and uh, clips up to catch a predator? So uh, I'll, I'll rearrange some stuff, and we'll be back with some anime bleepy bloops for an hour or two. And then media tech. So uh, see you guys in just a second.